Hello and welcome to the Gourmet's Gourmet. My name is Oscar Hume IV. I'm Jonathan Tisdale the Seventh. And uh, this is what we hope will be uh, many in a series of uh, culinary um, podcasts. We're, we're here essentially on loan from 10-minute podcasts. Those wonderful chaps you're used to hearing, William, Brian and Christopher. I think, I think that it bears, it bears uh, mentioning that our, our um, mission is to bring some sense of... of culinary sophistication to, for the most part, the, the American populace. Well, it's really definitely lacking. Most, yes. Absolutely. Well, I think in Los Angeles, where I've spent the past Particularly, week, yes, absolute of course. wasteland, a culinary we, wasteland. There are pockets of very good food, but yes. for the most part, I think our mission should be to try to um, educate the populace. And of course, my myself and Jonathan are both five-star Michelin chefs. Perhaps you're familiar with our, our radio series on the BBC Radio. Uh, which is which is also called Gourmet's Gourmet, the Gourmet's Gourmet, and uh, we're happy to bring it to you here. Yeah. And uh, we've been here in Los Angeles for the week. Well, and, uh, I, I, what I are your immediate? Um, mm-hmm. What do you take away? What are your my, my immediate, immediate impression? My immediate impression is that it's a very hot place. It's an armed populace. Uh, it's lots uh, of billboards. There are lots of billboards, and of course, there's a great deal of traffic, and and the air is very thick. Uh, however, I, I must say that the people are, uh, are sprightly and they are uh, they are enthusiastic. Yeah, they're uh, definitely if not a bit proletariat. proactive. Well, it's, it's I mean you know that's your uh, uh, certainly an Englishman's uh, call to make. Um, I, I will say that one of the one of the things that I found most disconcerting, and I tried and I looked in earnest, was the fact that I could not find a proper croissant, um, and I, I blame that actually on two things: on one technique. Yes. Of course, you know and I know the painstaking, laborious process, of course, of making a proper croissant. Oh, making a, a proper croissant. requires almost a pound of butter. You've got to layer the, the dough and you've got to brush the yes. butter on. Uh, Each properly. layer, yes. And, of course, using the proper brush. And I prefer a boar's bristle brush yes. because it tends to even the butter uh, perfectly. Of course, the butter uh, has got to be uh, uh, a certain what? texture as well. And I like to keep the, the oven itself at uh, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, I think I think that's that. Yes, but that's rather risky, isn't yeah. it? Well, it, it, but if you're day. if you're um, if you're baking your croissant at at three seventy five, and then uh, and but just for a few minutes, that that way the the center is just. But also, just I've, got, like I've got so. to say that for the yes. most part, if you if you attack the dough after it's been buttered and it, you allow it to sit for a while, if you attack the dough with a high flame, what will happen is it you will you will pass the test. And what is the test for a proper croissant? Well, take your index finger, press it into the croissant if it cracks if it cracks and in the middle it's doughy and soft yes. you have a proper croissant now this, fortunately this come up, it's impossible to uh, find that in los angeles uh, uh, absolutely and we were entertaining guests at our uh, at our suite at the chateau marmont and so i decided uh, in lieu of uh, a croissant that we would have this company here uh, which made wonderful uh, I think they called them croissant witches or something. Well, I, and it was I, by, I must interrupt. Uh, it was you by, should be arrested. It was by Pillsbury. Yes. And there's a funny little man on the outside of the tube, and you crack it open. And we put that in the toaster oven, and it was delightful. Well, it it wasn't really delightful. I have to. I, I must take umbrage with we that. Had I some, mean, uh, I think we, you're, you're, we had some. We had some. I can't believe it's not butter. Right. Well, on that. I, I will say for our listeners that if you're looking to be a gourmet, uh, well, one, this is the gourmet's one, gourmet. Well, so one absolutely. must take yes, and one must take what Oscar says with with a grain of salt. Only what in, are, in were terms some of, of your uh, favorite um, uh, restaurants here? Well, well, some well of my uh, tell us some of your the, the, the restaurants that you well, there's enjoyed a, there's here a, there's in a Los Angeles. There's a wonderful place called Jelina, which was written, uh, which was uh, named after after the chef's grandmother. She was Hungarian, and he called her Jelina. Wonderful. Uh, and I think uh, some of the, the finest food I've ever had, oh, actually, I must say, yes. to find that in Los Angeles is positively shocking. Oh, it's yeah. a far cry from uh, Pillsbury dough. Um, well, do tell. What was your favorite dish? Then, well, I well, uh, again... In that this is the gourmet's gourmet, what, uh, yes. what, what did you enjoy? Well, they, they had a wonderful seafood salad with a harissa, a harissa that would make a Scheherazade blush, I tell you. It's oh. absolutely the painstaking process they took into in, in, in crushing the chives oh, and, and, and mixing the cilantro just so. 
oh, with beautiful. the dashiest dash of Tabasco. I, I tell you, it's positively criminal. I, I thought to myself for a moment, I think I'm going to have to arrest someone, including myself, for eating too much of this. Well, that sounds wonderful. And I, too, enjoyed a culinary experience that I, I had hoped and wished that you were present for. And fortunately, pity you weren't. Uh, it was a chain restaurant, actually, mm. uh, here in Los Angeles. You're joking. No, no. Right. And uh, it's called, what was it called again? Carl's Jr., of course, yes, the hamburger chain. Yes, hamburger. And I had what was called the, the jalapeno $6 burger. Was it even palatable? Oh, it was delicious. Really? It was absolutely wonderful, yes. Oh. It, was, it was jalapeno peppers, right. American cheese, American cheese uh, yes. a, a lot of beef, probably I don't know, upwards of a pound. Oh. Really. It was wow. only six dollars, yes. and um, mm. uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly. The grease seeped into the bun uh, lovingly, and uh, the cheese grease. mixed with yes. the the jalapenos. And uh, there was, of course, the 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 regular uh, lettuce, tomato, onion, of so course, on and yes. so forth. Well, and I, I had two sides of of French fries, right, right. Well, and a very very large Coca Cola, <laughs> very large, right. Well, since you, you've brought up Greece, I, I had a wonderful meal at Blue Ocean, which an epic meal, actually. Uh, they served octopus Greek style, wonderful. Uh, they tenderized the meat, of course, and, uh, and then they diced the octopus and they placed it in a dish, a deep dish, uh, kilned, in fact, in Greece for added display. And uh, we, we were then uh, treated to uh, crushed Italian parsley and some some Egyptian pine nuts. Of course, you know there's a big difference between the Egyptian and the Greek pine nut. Uh, of don't, course, don't, of don't course. put a Greek pine nut. No, near never anyone. put a Greek pine nut. Uh, no. Too acidic, actually. And, yes. and whereas the well, I had a, another are, wonderful that, uh, experience uh, that I wish you were present for, but, uh, which was at a restaurant called El Pollo Loco, yeah, of course, which yes. was uh, chicken grilled uh, openly yes. right there uh, above the, the, crazy the cash chicken. registers. Mm -hmm. Yes, ca crazy chicken in think, Spanish. I hardly think that's uh, gourmet's uh, gourmet. Delicious uh, uh, citrus uh, chicken, uh, which I accompanied with uh, three corn on the cob, uh, some cold slaw. Well, so citrus chicken, two of orders of Paris, uh, macaroni uh, and cheese, uh, a few buns, uh, tortillas. Don't you think that's and a bit pedestrian when you're mass, well, mass I mean, sourcing uh, chickens from China and from, from well, all over the globe? Uh, yeah, but but, but I, I just kind of feel like at this point in my career, it's been uh, 30 years. Years plus uh, as a Michelin chef and and and, and uh, general foodie as they say now, and I just feel that my palate has graduated. Is well, it sounds as though you're having a sort of somewhat of a pedestrian proletariat a revolution with your, your belly. I disagree. I disagree. I also I mean, if, visited. This is really hardly the time to, to exercise place your, uh, your manifesto, your the, your communist manifesto, if you there will. Was the, the, the whole Jack point in the Box was another uh, wonderful again, uh, the Panda Express, delicious Chinese food. Of course, that I had. certainly if you California if you, pizza. If food it's all about the, filling your the belly. And Taco not, not Bell. Uh, there was a uh, uh, Krispy Kreme donuts. Well, I wonder. Delicious. I wonder just how much of your taste buds are wonderful are, are, are places working. that, that I mean, they have the here in, in the, and Burger King. Oh, please, already. I mean, you, you're obviously there. having uh, you're revolting against your very I show and your I mission in life. I mean, tell, tell me, the what, idea what, what, what's not King. to enjoy about a Whopper? Well, there's, I, I suppose there's a time and a place to enjoy pornography, isn't there? But yeah. for the most part, we're not here to talk about it. If we're, if we're, if we're writing, uh, I don't think you'd find much there was, room for I, pornography I had one, if you're reading right. uh, Emily Bronte. All right, Jonathan. The, the yes, point is yes, there's a I criteria for, yes, for, for good taste. Well, let's not get into and a tip about it. Uh, let well. me just tell you, there was one last experience I'd love to share with you. Uh, uh, sushi, which is very popular here. Of course. And uh, I enjoyed uh, uh, a six-piece California roll. Uh, for, for heaven's sake, that, that, that's at, a California invention, and it's not even and, uh, sushi, is uh, it? I mean, which I uh, had in my rental car uh, at the... So you ate sushi in your rental at car? At the AMPM, which no. is a gas station there to fill up petrol. You, you, uh, and then uh, wonderful, wonderful experience. I don't the, think with so. With the wasabi right. and the, the soy sauce. Are you suggesting, and, uh, are you suggesting that gourmet is gourmet? Should be talking about Burger King and rental well, I just sort sushi. Of, I, I just sort of feel Aside like. Aside from at the this fact that you could probably get sick. Well, we're just about out of time here on, on the gourmets, gourmet. But well, uh, I do. The gourmets, gourmet, and, and, and I think uh, that, 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 that we should use that title lightly. Your, your, your I am taste buds all have of you, betrayed within you. Within the sound of my voice, to go out there, enjoy your own culinary 
experience. And do try the California Road. It is at the, the, question, of, the question of enjoying and transcending. Uh, My I name is Oscar Hume. I'm Jonathan before. Tisdale. This has been the Gourmet's Gourmet. Thank said. you so much for joining us. Did I tell you about that movie? No. Yeah, I don't Probably know. the one you were going to make. Yeah, I might, might not do it now. Huh. All right. Some podcasts are slow And you don't know how long they last That's why you're listening to 10-Minute Podcast you know, it's, just, uh, it's just weird, it's just, you know, it's showbiz, I guess, right? Guys, it doesn't, yeah, it's hard Yeah, I guess I'm, There's yeah. just, there's um, Why there's, aren't you going to do it? Well, I don't know. You I, are not going to do it. I'm. I may not do it. Like the, it seems like the financing is is kind of falling but apart. That's it's always up contingent in the end, yeah. on one yeah. thing, and like you know, we'll, we'll see. It's a good flick. I want to do it. I love the script. Well, why wouldn't you? Yeah. No, I, I want to do it. I had trouble even worrying about that stuff. I just do it. Welcome to the Ten Minute Podcast. Oh, sorry, Brian. Okay, we'll do your name and let's get out of the way. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. I cut him off. So yeah, yeah. Well, we'll do your name and get out of the way. And then okay. Brian, so yeah. Say. Hey, welcome to the Ten Minute Podcast. Do you listen to the podcast? Do you enjoy it? I don't like it. We we'll appreciate you. Like Please go to iTunes. Log into it on your computer or your phone. Get the iPhone. Get the get the get a smartphone. Get the iTunes app. Okay. Get the podcast app. Then rate and review. The okay. 10 rate, us, rate us to the highest level. I think it's five. Give us the most stars. Give us six stars. All right. Uh, my name is uh, Will Gladiator Helmet Face Sasso. Oh, I'm Brian the Kid Callan. I'm Chris Delia, and it's just kind of raw, which is what you get. I don't have anything, but <laughs> you got to stop doing that. Man. It really, it may, every time he does it, I get annoyed. Yeah. Well, that's uh, your own thing. I, you look, see I, that in yourself. So. I've been I've been, I've been in situations. Hey, you know what? It's a long career. <laughs> you know, hey guys, hold on a second. It's a long, long road. Oh, you know, oh, they dude. wanted me not yet. From where there is no return. Uh, uh, now you can okay. go. All Talk right, about you know, something man, that doesn't matter, Jesus. I know. I'll tell you what, what it doesn't matter. I said no to a movie yeah. that shoots in Puerto Rico for two months because what? I didn't want to be away from my kids. And when you have kids, yeah. everything changes. Really? Like, I, All right. oh, I can't believe sure. it. I don't love, there's nothing I love more than my kids. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, by Re- far. Really? Yeah, I mean, there's Maybe. nothing. Well, I mean. By, not even close. Well, we had like a lot of cool times. Did you, what did you say? What do you, well, what do you mean? What are you saying? What do you mean? I said there's nothing I love yeah. more than my kids. I get it. Yeah, because that's like nothing. Like, I, like it's it's a it's a love you can't even describe. You know? Sure, it's a different kind of thing. I don't have kids, but no, I don't think it means different. I think it means it's a love you can't even describe. No, like it's, it's so a intense. Huge love. Well, it's, it's not it's, like you love appalling. a woman. It's not the same as loving a woman. No, it's way that's deeper different. than that. Yeah. Well, okay, right. Well, but I mean, yeah. so how how old are your kids? Three and six. Okay, so so what? What do you mean? Well. I mean, I I mean I, I don't know. I've known you for like eight or nine years. So yeah. I mean, I'm, so hold it, on. W- w- and does that are you suggesting that because you've known me longer that somehow that your love trumps the love I have for my children? What's going well, on? Well, no, no, no. What are you saying? Well, you're. Yeah, saying, what are you saying, Chris? Because I'm, I'm saying okay. I guess what I'm saying is I don't. I'm single right now. But if I have a girlfriend, I love her. Right? Like, yeah. It moves into that territory of love her. I love my dog as well. But it's no. A, Total it's, different thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like totally. I don't love and, my like, and I, your kids are a completely different. Sure. Kind yeah, of I get it. And your dad and your mom. No, and no, all no. That. Hold on. Your kids stand on a mountain. Right. And 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 that love is so much bigger right. than any other for love. a minimal amount of time. What what it's been three six years. Hold on. That doesn't. It, I, no, don't, no, no. I don't think time is relevant. And I'm speaking it's someone. Not relevant. Is, I, I don't really. Know, well, I don't if have I have kids, a girl, have, okay. I have so then say that to my parents' marriage. And... Say that to my to my parents' marriage. Because they've been together for 30 years. Hey, hey, hey. My bro. parents have been together for almost 51 years. Okay, so then they, they love each other a lot. And yeah, Brian they're, they're soulmates, soul but my mom years. will Dude, say in on. front of my dad that she doesn't love anything more than her children and her grandchildren. But you're not yeah. a child. Hey, bro, what, hold on. I am, hold on. I'm, their, time, I'm their kid. Time I mean, doesn't make a I'm difference. Son. Yeah, my son, who I've known for three years, I love way more than you. Okay. Like way more than I love you, you understand? Well, that, that's right? actually just rude to say. No, Why is that rude? That that's to rude. Say? You, Brian, hey, you down. narcissist Brian, motherfucker! Brian, Hold on, calm down. fuck you! Hey, what do you mean that's Brian. rude? That is rude. What he's doing is rude. Yeah, right now. hey, let now, me say it again. What he's doing, uh, I love my son and my daughter fucking way more, 
way more Brian, than I love you. Back off the mic. And I love you. All right. Now, Doesn't that feel I, shitty? Now you better you understand that. Because I, 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 I didn't ask for it. He understands it. I didn't ask for it. I understand it, but don't point at me. I didn't ask for it either. All right. But what I am saying is. So, all right. Look, 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 okay, look, look. Okay. What look, I'm saying okay. is if you point to me, your kids aren't going to have a daddy anymore because I'm going to snap right. your fucking arm off Fuck and throw you out the window. Let's not be violent. Let's not be violent. What I'm saying is. We won't get violent. Okay. If I'm be sitting there, he'll be laying on the ground. Okay, dude. Can I just say something? Right we'll be now, very dude. violent. Please, be very, listen to me. Just times. lay on the ground. We'll be very violent. Six times guys, 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 guys. Yeah, you, you better fucking punch me. Fucking guys, 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 guys. Listen to me. All right. You love your son and your daughter. For, I have two things I got to say right now, okay? Right. You love your son and your daughter. Right. So That's, much. Are those the two things? You still let him talk no. about it. No. Oh. So much, right? You're walking on thin ice. You're not so going to punch. Right? You're walking on fucking thin ice. You're not going to punch me. Huh? I'll punch you. Punch I'll punch you six times I'll punch you. you fucking punch I'll punch you in fucking another fucking 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 Listen to me. He gets me riled. All right, man. fine. Just don't listen to him. Uh, you try. love your your for the sheer, just for from having them. You love them immediately, right? Yeah. Okay. Obviously. Okay. Now, now let me let me just paint a questions. picture for yeah. you. Okay. I don't have any kids. What if all of a sudden a girl comes you up to you me? You wouldn't last. Just so what you know. What if a girl? You would Brian, fucking I'm not gas go out. There with you. All right, you'd Stop gas. It! Okay, but you'd what gas the all fuck of us out. Are looking at him. You'd gas out. I don't even need what to look girl, at this what fucking if, clown. Guys, what Come if on. a girl came up to me all of a sudden and was like, "Hey, you have a five-year-old. Uh, do I immediately love that five-year-old more than I love you guys? I've known you guys for nine years. Hey, yeah. What do we do then? Because yeah. you said you admitted it was just for the sheer thing of having the kid. No, so it's I, a biological this, insanity. Mm, mm, so you I got you a little bit with that, didn't, didn't you? I? Didn't get me with anything. I don't. There's no adult alive that I love even fucking close to my son and daughter. Do you understand me? So you, You're being rude. you are an, a You're molecule. Being rude. My You're love being rude. for you is a Chris. molecule. My love for my Brian, son and my daughter is, is a is Mount Everest. Rude, Literally, rude, that's rude, the rude, difference. Rude. Do you get it? Okay, so do you let get me, it now? Okay, you're so, a molecule. Okay, they're Mount Everest. Okay, do you get it? So since you love since you love your daughter more than your son because she's six, no, and your son is three, no, yeah, so, no, yeah, my so, daughter's six, my son is. So what? You, since you no, love no, your daughter I don't more love, because you spend more time, no, no that's not true, it's bro. Not about I time. love them both the same. Okay, so your son is obviously better then because he you love him as much in no. three years as you do in her in six okay. years. Okay, so I that's, understand that's how you would make then. that conclusion, but so you you're don't saying have your son kids. is better than your Brian, daughter. Just calm the fuck down. Hey, all right? You're saying your son is better. Calm the fuck down. I'm fucking calm, bro. You know what? Let me tell you Stay calm. I'll tell you what I'll do to you. I don't have. I'll hit you so fucking hard, your beard will end up on our good pal Jay Moore's face. Oh really? Yeah, you'll fucking Jay Moore will end up next to his beautiful wife and his fucking kids and go. Why do I have a fucking gray beard now? Guys, 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 guys. Chris, stop doing that. You guys got to stop arguing. Yeah, but I hate it Brian, when you say you're, that. You're saying that I'm. you love your daughter and your son the same amount. Yeah, that's what he's yeah, saying. Yeah, that's okay. what I'm so saying. So your son's three uh, and your daughter's me, six. So explain that. You have questions. more. So your son's better, obviously, because he's produced more love in you in ahead. three years than she has in six years. What? Your, lo- your love for your son is the same as your daughter, okay? Yeah. She's six, he's three. So he's produced more love from you in three years that's, than she has in six that's years. That's a fuck. I understand mathematically how some idiot would draw that fucking conclusion. It's not, now it's I'm an actually, idiot that you don't but, love. But actually, now I'm an idiot that you don't love. It is no. math, Brian. It's, I mean, I don't agree, but what he's saying does make sense. And you can't rebuke it. So just I can't, can't rebuke it. You can't. I, hey, bozo. Don't call bozo me bozo. Bozo for nine don't years. Me bozo. bozo to my right. Yeah. Pose it to hey, my right. I'll tell you what. I would can you, refute it you know and what? rebuke it. Do you and like I will. your nose where it is? Bring it, bro. You like Dude, you, you guys need to relax. I'll punch you. I'll, I'll make sure. And then it how would you up, like bang, bang, bang? How would you like three nostrils? Oh, you hear about How would you what? like three nostrils? How are you going to give me three muscles? Guys, 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 guys. You guys need to fucking relax. Okay? Tell him. Relax, Will. Don't Thank tell you. me. Tell this guy. Relax, Brian. I'm relaxed. I stay relaxed. I'm not relaxed because what you're saying is you don't. This is ridiculous, dude. I mean, you... It's not ridiculous, don't... Chris. You don't have kids. You are very ignorant. And if I did have a kid and somebody was like, hey, your kid is six, I wouldn't love him more than you just because of knowing him for a day for yes. the sure moment I had them. Yes, you would. You would. Uh, Will. And Will knows? 
Because I, Will has kids? I know because I have a heart and I'm not a fucking idiot. That like is, you over there? Yeah, like and, you. And this fucking twit no. over twit? here. I'm a who's twit? About, who's fucking, get your finger. Uh, get your finger, finger the fuck out of this. I'll you break do, my your finger? fucking finger. I'd love to I'll see break your arm and I'll break your stupid head. I'd love to see you fucking try. Guys, 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 guys,
Mo show. Yeah. Yeah, they, well, how about the other day, you know, I take the dog to the dog park, you know, I go there, I drive all the way there, you go to pay, find parking for the Humvee, you know, <laughs> it's so hard to park here, and then you go in, you got to open the one door, you got to close, make sure the other door is closed before you open the door, so that no dog got away, you know. But then I take Harvey there, and then as soon as I open the next door, he runs away Damn. to go with the other dogs. I'm like, Harvey, you son of a bitch. Get Dad. back here. Come on. They, Don't run away. That dog is going to run into oncoming traffic. Yeah. That son of a bitch. Yeah, this dog is a son of a bitch. This fucking dog is such a son of a bitch. Yeah, because Robert Davy's dog, Daisy, had, had a dog. this dog. We don't mean that it's a son of a bitch. Bitch. We're not bad mouthing dogs no. because of PETA coming out us yeah. and saying yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. are saying bad words to these animals. No, it don't mean like that. It's just it's very simple. When a woman dog who's a bitch has the dog puppy, in this case it's it comes Harley. out of a not a dick penis. Yeah, yeah. It comes out of a pussy vagina. Yeah. So yeah. then when that means it's yeah. coming out it of comes a out bitch. Of the, the dog's Pussy. Right. Yeah. So the dog comes out of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so it's then, so funny. Why is it so funny that the dog comes out of it? Yeah. So then, I don't know. What so, I'm so juvenile so, to think a dog pussy. It's so, so then, funny. The, since the dog doesn't have a dick, yeah. it has a pussy. Yeah. It, that pussy opens up. Because it's a female, and then, yeah. then the, the dog, dog is born, the puppy. Out, and because of that, that dog yeah. is a son of a bitch. With a son of a bitch. Harvey, a son of a bitch. And then yeah. when the dog poops on the lawn, yeah. it's a good dog. But yeah. when it poops on my Chinese yeah. food, that dog is a son of a bitch. Yeah. If the dog poops outside, he takes a shit, make a poo. Then I'm like, Harry, you son of a bitch. Yes. And I mean, in a nice in way. In a nice because way. Because it is a son of a bitch. It is a son but of a bitch. But if the dog it takes a shit on the Jean-Claude Van Damme's carpet, I'm like, Harvey, you son of a bitch. In a bad That's way. a bad way, yeah. Right. So I don't know what to do, to do the house training. We got the trainers here. We got the obedience guy to come, you know. There's this guy who comes into the sweltering heat. He's wearing he a bow tie. To, I don't trust he this wants guy. A, but it, that means something. One time the dog, when we got the first guy that we thought we were going to use, yeah, yeah, we had the other yeah, dog, yeah. our dog, uh, that son of a bitch, Orvi, was yeah. growling at him. And I read this book saying that the dog isn't necessarily growling at him. Yeah. He was growling at us, yeah. intuitively not liking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, reason. then the same dog therapist said that the dog is mad at his mother. And why is he mad at that bitch? It's because the mother is not there. And I'm like, that's hard, you know. The, you son of a bitch. That it's bitch so hard, is not there. you know. To that for, bitch is not there yeah. for her son of a bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. is not as far. We're not. They're not human. They're not human. They're dogs. No, they're dogs. Yeah. So I've he had was lots saying, of dogs. I used to have this son of a bitch named Patches. He was a good dog. I had the son of a bitch named Duke. That was a good dog also. I had the son of a bitch named Maddie. Yeah, that is a good dog. I yeah, had yeah, the yeah, son yeah. of a bitch named Cody. Yeah, I had the son of a bitch named Bullet. I had the son of a bitch named Rover. Yeah, yeah, I had the son of a bitch named Spot. You know, I, I, I had the a son of a bitch named and I named him Bear. Yeah, which is a good name for a dog because it looks like a bear. It was a dog, joke. Yeah. It was a big dog and yeah, it big was Newfoundland a son dog. of a What a son of a bitch. Bitch that dog was. I had the son of a bitch named Sylvester, you know, because ah, it's a, big a joke. joke. Yeah, that was a big joke a from friend friend, yeah. Sliced alone. I yeah, had yeah, a yeah. son of a bitch named we called him Fuck Dog. Yeah, that's a good name for a dog. Everybody gets a good name for your dog. He's a fat dog, yeah. yeah. I got a son of a bitch, uh, Shih Tzu, called Giggles. Giggles. That's a nice name. Yeah. Yeah. We both had lots of son of a bitch. I had so many son of a bitch. 
like this dog uh, uh, Giggles middle name was the clown dog last name is Schwarzenegger oh that's good yeah Giggles the clown dog Schwarzenegger people uh, do yeah. when, when he goes no, because away. I broke my leg doing true lies ah. so this dog made me laugh <laughs> yeah yeah, ah. yeah yeah oh. yeah but now that the Jean-Claude Van Damme and I we share a dog what are we gonna do I think I need the dog pooing everywhere shitting everywhere come out of his bitch mom's uh, uh, pussy dog dog pussy it yeah. came right out of that bitch <laughs> yeah that <laughs> that bitch opened up her pussy and that dog came out yeah that so this son is of a, a bitch yeah this Harvey you son of a bitch that's a good podcast we just talk no you know pushing we, it, we like have I no pushing before. agenda yeah don't talk about the show business don't talk about anything we call just Harvey, this you son of a bitch you Orvi. Orvi, yeah, Harvey. Orvi. The son of a the bitch. The son of a bitch. So, you want to talk about that? I don't know if I want to, but I think we should. Why should we? Because okay. it's part of life. What? Some podcasts are so and you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to 10-Minute Podcasts. Welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. Uh, if you're going to buy something on Amazon, you, you go to a voice. Go, no, this is my voice. No, it's not. Go to 10 minutepodcastcom hit the Amazon banner. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Chris. <laughs> Dude. It's my new thing. But we, people won't hear your name. They know who I am. They hear my voice. They know who I am. I'm omnipresent. Hey, don't. I'm Chris Lee. I don't have a nickname. It was raw. What did you see? was what you get. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just, yeah. Hey, uh, so Brian isn't here right now. Thank gosh. Yeah, because Thank he God hasn't for small favors. Right, and he hasn't. He just hasn't shown up to what we're recording yet. Right. So <laughs> blah blah blah. <laughs> Dude, here's Brian. Yeah, here's I'm Brian. Sorry, bees, guys. bees, bear, bears, eh, bees. The c word, bears. Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> keep it, to keep skin tight. Yeah, my skin's catch tight. Catch dogs. Yeah, catch dogs. Hey, I'm Muso and or yeah, whatever. Whatever. Um. Hey, the top of my head is cold. What? Because I don't have. Uh, I have less. On. I have less hair on my head. But, you know, I mean, make, make me feel bad. Yeah. Um, what are we talking about? I want to. I want to talk about something that's that that people need to know about. Okay. And that we don't think about, and I think that we do think about in the back of our minds. Okay. We don't think about on the forefront of our minds. Okay, doke. Because I think that we're scared, and fear mm-hmm. can control you. But right mm-hmm. now, I want to look fear right in the eyes, right. and I want to say, "Hey, fear, mm-hmm. today." I control you. Stop explaining it and just say what you'd like to talk about. But what I'm saying is, we know it's a part of life. Okay. Death. Oh, yeah. Death is a part of life. Uh Now, I'm happy you brought this up without Brian here. Me too. Because Because Brian Brian would have already said 14,000 words. Yeah. He would have said, you know, you know, it's interesting. You know, man's fascination with death. You know, I'm reading a book book. uh, called uh, Death in the 21st Century. Right. right. Talking about how people die differently in the 21st century than they did even in the 20th century. And certainly an exponential difference from that of the 19th century. And death is a natural thing. And once we uh, once we succumb to understanding the humanness of it and how natural it is yeah you know demystifying death is the the foreword is written by dr jack kevorkian right before he went into uh prison what do you want to say about death chris well i want to say i want to come out and say that we're scared of the unknown (laughs) and guess what I don't know about it and i'm scared of it okay but but i want to stare fear in the in the face yeah man and i say i'm not scared of you yeah but i am though right but i'm not because i'm saying i am do you understand? Yeah, but we have seven minutes left. So but now, you know the end of Eight Mile when Eminem is like, "Yeah, you fucked my girl." Now what are you gonna say? That's right. That's what I'm doing to fear. You're you're kind of coming in. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm scared to death. Now what? Yeah, you you're Eminem and him. Yeah, you're, you're Eminem and death. Well, I did Eight Mile to death. You did Eight Mile to death. Eight Mile to death. Yeah, death is scary, man. Right, things, because things because you die yeah. and then no more. But right. guess what? What? No more isn't even something. You just die, and you don't think no more. What? You, you don't, don't know that, but you no don't know more. that. You don't know that. Well, okay. Let's just assume when death. You know what? It's not even death, dude. Right. It's you know renewal. what it probably it's is? Renewal. No. You know what it probably is? What? Stopping. Stopping? Yeah. You probably just stop. You yeah, stop but that's the same as doing. death. Death is stopping. Right. So yeah. I want to call it 
the finite stop. I think it's stopping doing one thing, but maybe doing some other things. Maybe. Yeah. But you know what we know for sure? What? Stopping. That's true. What we do know for sure is stopping. We, we like to believe. We don't know anything beyond the stopping. We really don't. Stopping. We know nothing beyond the stopping. And that's what I'm scared of is beyond the stopping. Because okay. you know what I'm mostly scared of what? besides beyond the stopping? What? Just stopping. I don't want to. But then again, when yeah. that happens, won't be scared because scared stops. Have you ever almost died? No. I've almost died. Stop. I can, I can almost stop. All right. I've saying. almost stopped. I can say that safely. I had a heart infection years really? ago. Oh, yeah. In uh, 2001. Your heart almost stopped. Uh, yeah. My heart almost stopped. So you stopped. Almost. <laughs> right. I almost stopped. Yeah. And you know, I got it. I got this heart infection in the weirdest way. And uh, this is actually maybe, you know, something you don't know about and you should. You can get it real easily through dental work. Mm-hmm. And I had a fi- something as He's simple a, the, as this. Yeah. I had a nerve exposed because a filling popped out. I was on vacation in Canada. Mm-hmm. I'm not insured in Canada, even though it's socialized medicine for everybody you know i'm from canada but i'm here and i'm over there and i'm like fuck it i'll get it fixed when i get back i was there for a little bit too long finally the pain was too too much where Uh, in your mouth yeah the pain in my mouth and um it was canada day it was july the 1st 2001 and we had a dentist come in in canada fixed my stuff and what we figured out later me and my doctor here in la is that there must have been some dirty equipment because mm. they just didn't go through the thing well, canada is a third kind of a third well no world. he had no that's not what i'm saying i'm oh. saying the guy the doctor the dentist had to come out and open his practice on a holiday mm. so the hygienist wasn't there so oh, on and so forth interesting yeah so now skip the ballyhoo uh and 10 days in i can't stay awake and i'm in so much pain and what I, yeah so well, you're falling asleep or what oh yeah couldn't stay awake it was fucking crazy because there's um there's a there are two sacks that surround your heart and uh like sax fifth avenue or nah man like sax you know and there's no not sax John damn it sax played for the dodgers no and not saxophone okay um and not steve sax um says, that's steve sax there you sacks, go yeah sorry. um and uh, there's like a millimeter or, f- or two of fluid in between them anyway um the 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 thing fills up with fluid. It constricts the heart, yeah. and it so eventually what happened? you it's periocarditis, and the heart stops. And um, I I got real. It got real gnarly right. because I waited so long. Right, I Jesus. was a dumb kid. I was probably twenty six. Well, and now that there's six listeners left, yeah. Um, <laughs> what I almost died, man? You, I no, 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 no. You Sinai. almost stopped, and you almost found out what's beyond the stop. Yeah, and I, there was one day where they made me sign out the hardcore papers, the bad. Really? I saw. Oh, I saw. Like the, if you die, yeah. If you stop, the bad papers. But guess what? You don't have to worry about what's that signing those papers. You know why? Why? If you die cares you just stop well I, you know there are some people who would have cared I, right your, your mom your dad my mom my your dad, brother my brother my sister i had to sister, call i called my brother sons i don't have any sons right but if you did uh, they would have cared right i called my brother and uh you, you know said, listen i might listen i might stop i told him everything in this this was my pace of voice hey hmm. listen because you had your yeah because i couldn't i couldn't speak Whoa. i was so fucked up and uh, I get the whole thing out, and the, the first thing out of his mouth was, you didn't tell mom and dad, did you? Oh, God. Because, you know, me and my brother and sister kind of have that pact. You don't tell right. immigrant Italian. Hey, let me tell you something. Right, right. You don't tell your immigrant Italian parents to worry about something, because then they'll worry. Yeah. Um, I remember I got, that, that I got movie a, with Danny Aiello. Yeah, it was, yeah it, was to, it was Tony Danza and Danny right, Aiello. Right, right. Don't tell ma. <laughs> That's what it was what it's called. called. John Turturro, Danny Aiello, and, and it was called uh, "Don't Tell Ma." Don't tell Ma. And they were all on the cover, like, like going like this with their hands up. What, what's going on? Don't Except tell one Ma. One person was doing it like this. Yeah, one's got the little the fingers together. Yeah. What are you doing? You mm-hmm. telling Ma? Anyway, what a bummer. Almost died, didn't. Okay, so now that there's three listeners left, yeah. <laughs> um, I want to talk about what do you think is beyond the stop, dude? Beyond the don't call it that, and I'll answer no. that question. Um, well, what do you think is beyond beyond? You said it. You said well, it. I'll answer it anyway. Well, it's my term right. that I'm coining. All right. right. Beyond the stop? <laughs> Gee whiz. <laughs> if you ever like decide to like drop out of the business and just take off, I want you to write a book about death called Beyond the Stop. I and will. that's how you reconnect with Brian years later. He's like, oh, I read this book. My fucking- <laughs> this guy used to be one of my best friends. He wrote Beyond the Stop. It was genius. Yeah. He lives up in the woods somewhere. I guess what the, the book is. You open what? up the book, blank pages. Oh, sweet. Right? And you fill the pages. Right. Because, right. well, because, well, no, but no, yeah. not that, though. And then the last page, it says, don't tell ma. <laughs> you, 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 g- ganoush, you. Yeah. What? Uh, what do I think is beyond the, the stop? Yeah. Um, dude, look, if I tell you, if I sit here, if, if Will sits uh-huh. here and tells Chris mm-hmm. what I think is beyond the stop. I got a, a feeling Chris is going to make a lot of fun of Will. But you're also going to get 
Blood Red Mad. Oh, that's true. And I'm also going to get painstakingly bored. <laughs> I don't think we die. Uh, uh, I'm angry. And I think I'm angry. That, I think that and we, I'm angry. I think that we come to this plane of existence yep. when we are ready. And you know and what, think, dude? And I think we come in one form and we are here to learn and leave in a different way than the way we, okay. we got here. And That's now, you know why you think that? Why do I think that? Just cause. <laughs> no, man. And that's what makes me angry. No. You just kind of thought it. No, and no. It's what I believe. It's what stuff. I feel. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you know what I feel? What's that? That's bullshit. No, I don't think And it's I bull- feel like no. when you die, yeah. you stop. Yeah. And it sucks. Yeah, because... And I hope it does not... It's not true. I hope your way is true. Well, speaking as a man who sat there and laid there and signed the, the, the bad papers, mm-hmm. I feel that... We keep going. Okay, well, we keep going, and we, we keep going. We get to a place where Nicolas Cage is Lord, and then we do everything he says, and it's crazy, and everyone has eagles. What do you mean you have eagles? We have you eagles. You can't just say we that. Train, we have trained eagles. You can train eagles no, here. No, but we have them already built in, and we have castles. I'm going to say this. All right. I, I don't, d- d- completely objectively. Fucking you didn't. Some podcasts are so Your mouth. Shh. And Wait. you don't know how long they last. You don't understand the way things work. Tighten. We talk for a few seconds before the fucking song, and you just go for something. Yeah, so what? Well, Tighten your mouth. You, can I be honest with you? When you get tired, your mouth gets loose, no. My, and, it, and it, so. it looks spoiled. You I have a spoiled, so. twisted I mouth. So. But look. Tighten your mouth. You guys, up. look. Let's just do something here, because I want to talk about my tour dates. i got this theater tour yeah. coming out. But right now, we um, we are at the doing the 10-minute podcast, and I – go ahead. We want to introduce yourself. I'm Brian yourself. the Kid Cal. And I'm Chris D'Elia. Uh, I'm raw. I don't have a nickname. It's just what you see is what you get. Now, who do we have here filling <sighs> in for Will Sasso? That's your nickname. Go ahead. Will, Will Sasso. Go ahead. Right. No, but it's your turn. So Hi. we've got somebody here. Yeah, go ahead. This Go ahead, third, do your thing. This I'm is the just third here. time that he's been Oh, you been want here. me to introduce yes. myself? <laughs> right. <laughs> and you're a... Uh, hi. Got it back hey, off the you guys want to do it? Let him do it. Let him do it. Let him do it. So what's your name? Do you want me to do it? What's your name? Chris, you want me to do it? Yeah. You got it back off the mic. You want me to back off the... Go ahead. What's your name? Go ahead. All right, no, when so you when you do that with your with your nose. All right, it's a David Greco. <laughs> right, great. Professional okay. podcast great. sidekick. And what we were going to you do know, is you you're know just going to fill I've in and hang podcast, out. But you're going to be the sidekick. Sidekick. Okay, sidekick. Okay, sidekick. Sidekicks. sidekicks. Right. You're right. the sidekick. I'm just a professional podcast sidekick. And Brian and I are just going to be the guys sidekick. who have the podcast. You know, you, so what you you're going to do is you're just going to sit up and just kind of hang out and maybe throw in a little bit of a thing. But what you don't need to do that. I'm originally from Schenectady. I'm in the pipe is you're doing is you much already. Oh, sir, go ahead. Just hang back. Hang back, okay? Go ahead. So, so what we're trying to say is, one second. So I have a theater tour coming out, and it's the yes. first theater tour I'm doing, and I open it up in New York, and I'm mm. doing 31 c- cities. Wow. So it's very cool for me. I'm very excited. A lot of people are going to, you know. A theater tour? Yeah. You're going to make some money. No. It does, it's not what it's about. You Where are you I mean? going? I'm going to New York. I'm going, I'm going How to New York, big are D.C. The... I'm going to Florida, different places in Florida. I'm going to Chicago. I'm playing some Seattle, of those, Some Portland, of those places, by the way, my town. Dallas. I've been there a long time. Oh, really? And I'm going to tweet for you. Well, you don't need to do that for me, dude. I, but I thank will, you, because but, you're going to sell uh, tickets. Because okay. I come in with the quips Some... and the humor, the jape and whatnot. Right. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, bro? My, but only just, come in with you, that. Don't only say you come, come in, in with that. Yeah, I come in with the you, gaffes you, and the humor. You can't interrupt and the this jokes. Like this. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you're interrupting. You know that, No, right? but I'm a pop, pop, professional podcast sidekick. Yeah. I'm sorry, my nose is in a nasal condition. Because I'm I'm in the pipe for this union. I'm a plum up in Schenectady, New York. And so I come in. I bust out the drywall for you. Right. You remember, right? Right, we know. Right. Right. So I come in and, you know, that's why. So I think I got some kind of... Nasal Nasal condition, condition. but but you got nobody. You got to back off when you do that. Also, it's not about backing off. It's about maybe not saying that so much. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. Interrupting us, but I'm 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 the sidekick. So you guys come. You guys. So that's why when we talk about the theater tour, right? And we're talking about different places. State at all? Yeah, I am going to actually. Oh, where are you going to do? I think I might be in uh, Albany. Oh, you got to go see uh, Barbara and a, and a no, Barn Owl. No, he doesn't. Owl. No, he yeah. doesn't. Barbara and a Barn Owl. So I'm going to do okay, radio. actually. I don't know if I have to do FM the radio, radio stuff. FM Radio Talk. But, out right. of so, North, you know. But I'm playing a lot of different places. Upstate In fact, New I can York. Pull, I can pull them up. Uh, but yeah, so it's going to be great. And, and you know, and I'm doing a lot of places that you like to do also. Like, I'm going to yeah. even hit, I know we joke around about Minnesota and a lot. I'm going to be there. My town. Right. Uh, Florida's my town. Certainly, some of these places are my spot, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna they're send, not really I'm gonna your spot. Brian, what's send your? Out some, uh, oh, here's an interesting yeah. thing. The comment is uh, sidekicks. What's your favorite comedy place? Comedy stand up to do. All right, uh, probably. 
Jesus Christ. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Solid. Hey. I'll bet, I'll bet. Go ahead. Go ahead. Florida is Florida and Canada are my, my spots. I really like Florida and I really like Canada. Yeah. I love Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, that's my that's it's my, my town. That's, that's my town. Don't say I that. How about the Britney that's Spears? My, don't say that's my house. Hey, what's going uh, on with that? Miami. I'm gonna be in Miami and Tampa. Damn. Hey, how about that Britney West Spears? Palm Beach, she went, Orlando. Hey guys. How about that Britney Spears? She shaved the head. Christ. She went crazy. That, that was like was so seven years ago. ago. Yeah. It was right. maybe even longer than no, that. No, then you guys, I come in, I bring the... Right, you know, right, right. Then but you that's guys not talk current. about it. That's not current. And, and we're not talking about that right now. No, we're not. Let's just talk about what we're, we're talking about to different places to perform. Professional well, podcast sidekick. Indianapolis, Royal Oak, Michigan, Columbus, Ohio, Toronto. Toronto. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude. Wait, bro. What are you Sorry. doing, man? No, no, go ahead. You got to back off when you do that. You have to do that. You you should you have cannot s- do that anymore. You ever, you ever play, uh, you ever do that show out of Niagara Falls called A Coach and a Clownfish? No. No, I, I don't do that. All right, go ahead. We do. D- go ahead. Talk about your tour. Go ahead. I started, I start the tour in Westbury, New York. You might know where that is. Oh, sure. Yeah, Westbury. Yeah, Why sure. are you starting the, uh, the what, uh, tour uh, there? You know what you got to do is you got to go do the, the morning show out there. You'll get a lot of people out to your tour. You know, the theater Are you pre-selling is, tickets? Are you a ticket master? The theater people is get, 650 people. Ah, so, so people could do some walk-ins, walk-ups. I, I'd probably sell it out before it Wow. Well, but, but, but yeah, but if you show up, you do you do Greg, Greg and Nicali. Right, yeah. Greg well, and Nicali. I don't think I'll do that. That's Greg and Nicali. Is that a dog? Yeah, that's a dog. So he's got a dog, or is there a guy named he calls no, himself the, the Collie? The Collie dog. I'm starting His real Ryan. name is Collie. Ryan, I'm That's starting it in calls. New York because God. I'm doing a, a run a run that weekend uh, in New York, the and Collie then I'm doing dog. Atlantic City and Washington, D.C. What about Robert Downey Jr.? He woke up in someone else's bed. What's going on there? David. Yeah. David. That was, that was again, seven years seven ago. Seven years ago, David. It was before Iron Man. You know that, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he woke up in someone else's bed or something. He's got a problem or something. No, that was that was well. That's he doesn't have a problem anymore. No, he sure does. He's got it under control. Well, no, I'm just a sidekick. You got you know I come in with the wall of right, okay. the jokes and the gags and that sort of well, thing. Please, you guys I mean, look, thing. you don't have to do that and get off topic. All right, but if you go do, ahead. please just pick something oh, go current. Ahead. Go ahead. You know, I mean, Jesus Christ, your quips and your jokes. Why don't you talk about hey, you know, her what happened to OJ? Oh yeah, what happened to OJ? What's going on with him now? What well, he's the, in jail the, for hold a on, completely hold on. different what? offense. Well, hold on. What? What? What, what are you saying that glove doesn't fit? You must have. Quit. I was joking. I was being sarcastic. That 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 happened fucking twenty years ago. Yeah, but I'm the sidekick. You guys don't understand. That's not, I've done okay. so many. I've done five hundred FM show. I've done AM radio. I did podcasts. This is how you do it. No, it's not how I you do, do it. it. I you guys provide the. Comedy. I was joking about the OJ. I thing. come in. What a stuff. There's no reason to joke. No, I was joking with you. That was so oh, long ago. With ahead, you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go you go you go don't ahead. get it. Yeah, go ahead. So, anyway, I know you like some of these cities, Brian. And go to my go to my website, Chris, chrislea.com. You can see me, uh, you know, there. So. I don't want to turn this this podcast into a big promo. You know, there's you, actually you know? bigger problems on this podcast right now than me turning it into a promotion. Yeah. So, let's, yeah, just, like kind of, let's just pick like up what? the scraps here. Like what? Mm. Your nasal fucking condition. Yeah, it bothers all, me a problem. lot. Why is he, Why are you getting all upset? I'm just trying to do well, my best. Do piece. something Professional about it. Podcast or get off the mic. Hey, how about that Brett Butler on uh, Grace on a Fire? Here, are she's a real bitch. Twenty everybody. years are old, you, bro. Oh, she was are a real you bitch. Fucking kidding me? She's a bitch. The people on the crew. That was thirty years oh, ago. Oh, oh, hold on. What? Oh, Brian. Brian. Brian's not going to help his nasal what condition. What are you doing? What are you doing? Sorry. It's what I think I'm actually of you. fine with it this time. It's what I think of you. What are you doing? I'm doing what I want. I don't, oh, wait. Oh. Is that oh, sm- smell is that that you? Oh, makes it worse. Ah, oh, Brian, what are you... What? Ew. Ew. That was nothing. That was nothing. Right. You know, that's if Will was he here, thinks, he would... That's what he thinks Ram he his fucking... head up your ass and get more fart out of you. Hey, guys, that was a funny quip I just came up with. I came up with a joke. It's not a joke, dude. My own funny guy. David, gaff. you are not funny. I'm going to tell you something. Ah, oh, come on. You're not, you're not, um, you have to work on your humor, man. Have you studied, like, have you, I don't even know what to say to you. Hey, what's going on with a Jerry Seinfeld dating a young girl? Jesus Christ, oh, that was when man. Seinfeld was on. Yeah, Seinfeld, that's hey, a great show. Hey, Rumpel, it was a great show. Well, how about this guy over here? You know, Seinfeld wouldn't fart in the mic. Rumpel it's not professional. I'm a professional podcast sidekick. I'd never fought. In You're life. not That's a professional. That's actually not something to be a professional for. Are you what? getting paid? Uh, 
We're not paying you. Who's paying you? You guys. Uh, we're not no, paying we're not. you. We thought we were helping you. Well, I mean, maybe I could maybe come tour with you, open up for you. Maybe Absolutely just not. No way. To something. No. no way. No way. I'm a professional Brian, podcast I, sidekick. Brian, look at me. Yeah. No way. Right, no fucking ahead. way. Go ahead. And, and you're not a professional. I don't want to mess up your show you don't here, get, you know. You don't get paid. You guys got a good show going. You did mess up podcast. our show. And Chris, for sure come up with something less boring than your dumb tour dates. I'll tell you what you well, should Well, it do. was. We could have turned it into anything but fucking David Greco. You got to go up to Saranac Lake if you're going to do a tour. They got a great... I'm not doing stand-up on a lake. No they got way. A, they got the... That's not a good idea. Timmy's, Timmy, Timmy's Comedy Club. Timmy and the Lion. I don't even... That's Timmy, probably from a long time He's got a comedy ago. club, but they Every also got the... They got the... Also, they got the... AM radio talk show. Hey, thanks for listening to the time of the podcast. I'm David Greco, professional podcast sidekick. Not a professional. You don't These get guys, for it. Well, you could see me in Rochester when I go in there. I, I guest on a, a, a FM show up there, Barney and the Beetle. I don't even know what to say. Everything is a person and an animal. Yeah, he's a great FM talk show. <laughs> hey, man. Where is he? How's it going? What, Chris? Yeah. Who cares? Let's just do it without him. Ah, it's so obnoxious. Did he text you it or anything? Some podcasts are slow. And you don't know how long they last That's why you're listening to 10-Minute Podcast Welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. If you're going to buy something on Amazon, what you do is you go to 10minutepodcast.com. So you started well. And then, and then you hit the energy. Amazon button. You're losing energy. One third of us isn't here. No, I don't care. My name is Will Gladiator Helmet Face, the White Samoan no, Hulk. That's so long. And it's such a long nickname. Chief bro. Engineer of Laughter and Cheer, Sasso. You know, it makes. What's it, your name? What's it, your name, Brian? Dude? The Kid Callan. Crystal is not here. Uh, he should be here any second, yeah. and um, or we hope. Uh, but we've just decided to go on without him because Let's you know do it. we Let's got a bunch of episodes without we you him. recently. Um, here and there. So we don't need him. We can lay one down. All right. So go for it. Well, how are you doing, Brian? Uh, what would you like to talk about, Brian? Crushing it. Yeah, you're crushing it? I'm crushing it. <laughs> okay. And, I would expect I mean, no less. You, yeah, you, you seem yeah. to say that a lot, no matter what. Is that a front? You fronting? A little bit. <laughs> yeah? You yeah. got pra? I, I do have some auditions, and I think I'm going to get them. And I, I think this is the year that I really I, don't I say break. That. Yeah, don't say that. Don't say that. Oh, look, he's calling. Hold on. Hey, he's stuck in traffic. Oh, oh, yeah, hey, get oh. here. Get here for sure. For oh. sure, get here. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Let's put him on. I bet he's on the five. Uh, hey. Hey. Chris? Where are you? Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can hear yeah, you. What's up? Hear, where, what's when, up? Uh, where are you getting here? We already started. Hold on. Hold on. Shh, 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 shh. Hold on. Shh. What's going on? Shh, for a second. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Got Why it. do we have to shush? We're doing the podcast. Where are you, bro? I, okay, it, it's a long explanation. Okay? What? Okay. Are you all right? It was a long explanation. Yeah, but I have to be kind of a little bit quiet, okay? Okay, so give us the explanation. Okay. So, listen. Well, listen. So, I'm, I, got, I got myself into a little bit of a conundrum. <laughs> that okay. You to say. All right. All right? So, um, I, I, I got, hold on. Shh, shh, wait, hold on one second. What, what are you seems, doing? Okay, something's up. So no, well, okay, but, but Chris would never use the word conundrum. Yeah, he wasn't okay. yeah, I've never heard him use that word. What? Are you, what's? Right. Co- where are you? What are you doing? Because I have to wait for the guard to go. I have to wait guard. For the guard to Chris, pass. the guard or the car? Yeah, a guard. A guard. A car? Like your car? Guard. Is he's your car? Draw, he's drawing out the a, a longer than he should. Is your car in the shop? Or it's the pronounced wash- guard, not guard. Brian, back off okay, the so fucking mic. I I thought I would take a little trip. You know, Scott's been getting to me. Um, and I had a, a, a job to do, uh, I had a job to do, uh, a, a stand-up job in, uh, overseas. It's a what I job? Got, yeah, what? I, I got, I had a job to do over, overseas. Where? You know, where, where overseas? You what kind like, of job? Well, I mean, where? like a stand-up go, gig? Yeah, exactly. I, I got paid this, to go do a gig in, in Paris. You know? Yeah, and, and you're in Paris right now? I'm, I was supposed to go to Paris, but in the middle of it. We kind of, I got rerouted. I to, got in a lot of trouble. To where? Where did where'd you get rerouted? Talk, talk. You're not making any sense. Vietnam. Vietnam? You're in, you're in Vietnam right now? Are you? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shh, shh, hold wait, on. Shh, wait, shh, just listen. listen. All right. Okay, what's up? 
Are you in trouble? I'm in a little bit of trouble, yeah. I'm in Vietnam. I got captured. And I just, I, hold on, hold on. Captured, you got captured? Where, captured are you, where, are you, where, where are you in Vietnam? What area of Vietnam? Uh, the, the, what's Viet Cong? What's are you on me? Are you on? Are you on? A, are you near water? Yes, I'm definitely near water. Okay, do, yeah. are you are you near the Mekong Delta? Brian, the, yes. The, don't say Mekong Delta, just because to sound I cool. know Vietnam. No, you don't know Vietnam. Chris is actually sounds like he's actually. In are trouble. you near a river? Chris, look, what? hold on, let me handle this. No, I'm going to handle it. Chris, we're going to call the embassy and we're going to get you out of Vietnam. The embassy's not going to help you, Will. What are you talking about? If the he's, embassy's if he's not going to help you because if he's caught, if he's been captured by 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 fucking river pirates, it's a it's a major problem. Chris, just are they river pirates? Chris, this is a major fucking problem, all right? Because I got, shh, shh, hold on. Okay, because I got, I got these guys, these Vietnamese guys with guns, and they trapped me, and I'm behind bars right now, and I was in a boat, and now I'm just calling oh, you the Mekong. You were in, you were in a, a boat in the yes, Mekong Delta. Yes, 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 you wait, yes. Wait, wait, Chris, are yes. you telling? Wait, Chris, are you telling us to shush or someone over there? Uh, shush. One second. Hold on, one second, guys. Yeah. Okay, Brian, just over there. I'll meet you back at the at the bar. Wait, 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 hold wait, on, wait, hold wait, on, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, what was that, on. what was that? What is it? What was that? Is he calling your phone? I, I, yeah, I, I, wait, that, no, what, that's why, actually you, a good You have your phone on you and you're calling from Vietnam? Yeah, I thought you were calling from your car, you're caught in traffic. Yeah. This is your phone no, number. No, 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 listen to me, I know, because I'm crafty. Do you know how I'm crafty? Wow. Okay, so, so basically what I did was, when they first came, when the Miklos Vargas, when the Miklos Vietnam guys came up. The to Mekong me. River Pirates. Yeah, you're saying Miklos, like my friends Johan and Miklos yeah. who I go hiking with. Yeah, the, 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 the Whatever the Viet Cong guys were. No, the, the River Pirates, they're very thorough. They, they would take your phone. Right. Why did they not take the, your phone? No, 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 no. Because when I first saw them, I put my phone in my anus. That's the first place they check, bro. That's yeah, not. That's, that's a lie. They're going up there for You're other reasons too. You're not hiding a phone Brian. in your anus, bro. Brian, like Brian says, these are these are these are pirates. They're, they're river pirates. Yeah, they're okay. they're different. They're fucked up. They're gonna they're gonna. They, you you're lucky that you're not you filleted right now. right now. Yeah. Can you listen? To, can you listen to me? Of course. I put the phone in my anus, and okay. these pirates didn't check it. Sure. And now I'm talking on the phone. There's a little bit of shit on my face. Okay, listen to me, dude. Okay, hold on. What that? Okay, what do they but want that's from you? Potatoes. But that's small potatoes compared to what these fucking guys do. What do they want from you? They were, they were, they were really, they really wanted my jewelry. One second. You, you don't, don't wear jewelry. You don't wear jewelry. I know. I, 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 I didn't wear jewelry, which is why they took me captive. Wh- and I got talking on the phone. Why do you keep telling name. us to hold? Are you telling us to hold on for a second or there's someone there's else? A little bit of, there's a little bit of shit in my eyes. There's... <laughs> Okay, well, clean your eyes out. Can you get some water? Do you have a he's swab? Gonna, he's going to get dengue fever out there, Brian. Of course he is. He's fucked. Around 9.30. Are you drinking? Wait, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. What, what did you say? Did I'm you say meet I'm... someone at the beach at 9.30? Huh? Chris, where are you? Did you say, you said you're going to meet someone at the beach at 9.30? I'm in a lot of trouble. I got shit all over my mouth and eyes. I... And... Well, now, hold on, hold you're... on. You had a little bit of shit on your face. Now it's on your in your eyes and all over your mouth. What's... You're, you're, you keep changing your story. Okay, okay wait. If on. you are indeed being held captive by Vietnamese oh, river pirates, Brian, Brian, you let would me not have this. your Brian, fucking phone. All right, okay, calm down, Brian. I don't Chris, believe the guy. Chris, listen to me. On our friendship, are you in Vietnam right now? No. Ah, uh, Chris. I, I fucking knew Chris, it. Where, where, are where are you? Where are you, dude? Fuck, where man. Are where are you? I'm, I'm in, I'm, I'm in Hawaii. Hawa- Hawaii. Where in Hawaii? Hold on. Where in Hawaii? I'm in the Ma- Maui. It's one of the you know medium-sized islands. What yeah, island? We know which island. Yeah. What island? Maui. Brian. You just said you just, Maui. Okay. Well, where? Where in Maui? It doesn't matter where he is. It does. Because, no, it doesn't believe, because he's on vacation. I don't believe him. He he's should on have been, vacation. He just wanted. He was supposed to be here. What, 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 when did you get I, on a plane? I am on vacation, dude. And I was. I don't know. I thought. I wanted you guys to think I was cool and in some trouble and shit. You guys are always talking about how I eat mustard sandwiches. Oh, Christ. Well, we don't mean that you yeah. mean mu- eat mustard you don't sandwiches, have to prove dude. Shit to I us. haven't eaten one mustard sandwich. No, nobody would eat just a mustard sandwich, right. Chris, of and course. I don't do that. Right, okay, well, but you don't have to pretend. Be Hawaii. You don't have to pretend that you're going to Vietnam right. and getting captured. Right. If you want to go to Hawaii, to go to Hawaii. That, Hawaii. Just to say that you're not eating mustard right. sandwiches. And go if you to, want to go to Hawaii, right. go to fucking right. Hawaii. It's a free country. But tell us. But tell us. I'm in Oahu or Maui, and so I'm saying that. Hold on. You just said you were in Maui. Yeah, I'm in Maui. You just, I'm in one of the medium-sized islands. I got it mixed up with the Wahoo. I'm sorry, all right? No fucking who's there Who's there with you? Yeah, who's, who's there with you? Yeah. I got a few girl, girls 
Listen, put him on the phone. Take put, a picture right now. No, no, no. Take no, a put picture on, of Brian, you. Brian, shut your well, trap. That, put him on the well, phone right now. Will, Will, I would, but I, I just told them I would meet them at the beach, so they're not here now. Take would. a picture of the beach right Take now. Take a picture of the beach. Take a picture of right now. Take a picture of the beach. Send it to us. I would, I would, but my phone is, it never works like that. That's, no, you, know. you send pictures all the time. Okay, Chris, I'm, now I'm going to have to fucking ask you. Are you, this is fucking, he's, he's crazy. On our friendship. He's out of his mind. Are you are you in Hawaii or not? No. He's Damn not it. he's not in Hawaii. Damn it. Where no. are you? Where are you, dude? I'm in my I'm in my house. Of course you are. What are you well then what is this? What the fuck is the problem? Why, Why would you, you lie, do this? Why man? would you do this to us? Yeah, I was worried. Because man, I wanted you to think that I was ca- captured by the meal me- what was it? Viet Cong. The, the river pirates in the Mekong Delta. Oh yeah, the Viet, whatever. And then when that, I realized that that was not cool. And then I was, I was trying to make you think I was cool, but then I realized when I said I had shit all over my eyes and mouth that that's not cool. So I figured I would just come clean and say I was on vacation in Hawaii, but I wasn't. It's a dumb idea, dude. It's a really good idea. This is TMP, the musical. No, it's not. We're gonna sing everything Somebody to you. So. And you don't know how long they last. Don't. That's why you listen to 10 Minute Podcast. Okay, the problem with the idea is. Hey, you're not singing. Back off the fucking You've mic. Got Brian, to Brian, sing. I'm dead serious. You have to back off the mic. I won't do anything you tell me to because I'm a free man. This is my country and it's how I feel. Let so me explain. Me a favor Let me to explain. Sing a song for us. Welcome to the Ten Minute Podcast. Um, if you're gonna oh, buy one something, one thing up, I'm not gonna do is do a singing podcast. But okay, you're but, already doing yeah, it. Yeah, you're it's doing really it, easy. and you're making it sort of like the rule I, is you've got to of, sing every single okay, thing. But you he's say. making it sound like he's making it sound like Our Town, which is not the musical that this would be. Hi, Will here. Uh, allow me to first of all explain the um, the background noise. I'm actually sitting on an airplane. I'm on my way home to L.A. from Toronto, uh, where I was shooting something for a, a month and a bit, uh, by way of Vancouver. Stopped in there, too. That's where I'm from. Okay, it doesn't matter. That part doesn't matter. Uh, here's the point. This is worst of TMP5. Brian Callen pitched and did not carry out or deliver on this horrible idea he had of doing a musical TMP. It's TMP the musical, or whatever the fuck. It was terrible. He had no ideas, no pitches, no ways to make it. I don't even want to use the word good. There's no, it's just, it's just so bad. And both the guys didn't want me to air it, but fuck you. I'm airing it. And this is my form of protest. Literally recording the wraparounds on a noisy airplane, recording using a little iPhone mic and it sucks. Okay. Uh, no worse than what Brian did with the episode. Think about it this way. Imagine the stuff I cut out to record these wraparounds. That, can you imagine just 10 minutes of this? Okay, let's get to it. Enjoy. And, um, yeah, I don't know I don't know what to say. Here it is. I shouldn't use the word enjoy. Fuck, Brian. Check this out. And I'm Crystal and I don't have a nickname. I because I'm wrong. What you see is what you get. What you see is what you get. I think Will's afraid to sing with us. Cause no, I think- I'm not. I'm not afraid to sing, you're just singing the wrong style. Because it's a musical that doesn't make it something that you have to sing the way you do. What if we did it like Grease and we sang kind of like this? A little because funky. You... Will's really bad at rhyming. It He's doesn't really have to rhyme. Rhyming. As a matter of fact, let's do it like Les Mis, because they do not rhyme at all. I this like is like when Miz. they don't they rhyme. Do. I like when they To go, Chris. I didn't know you could hit the hey, Brian, clear your throat beats. before you sing. You That's... sound like a balloon filled with pudding. Hey, I rhyme <laughs> for your fucking ass. Which yeah, you, you have can't a... sing after you eat your bowling. Yes, I can. Um, yeah, what do you guys have? I didn't see the menu. I have sandwiches, a chicken, turkey, and cheese plate we have uh, what would you recommend the harvest turkey or the grilled chicken I'm going for I'm going for the most dough the most dough yeah really? I'm going like anti low carb might as well be a dough goat that is the most dough 
<laughs> oh, that's a lot of dough. That's the chicken. That, the Just chicken has a lot of dough. If this were a musical, both of you lead. wouldn't even would get cast lead. in the workshop version that goes up in Seattle for about a week and a half because your voices really suck and Brian farts into the mic. Well, then explain this. How? <laughs> I can explain <laughs> it. But did you notice Tom when Dan. Chris sang real loud? He backed up off the mic and Brian did not. Because That's... Brian knows so little, he knows no. so little. That's and not Brian true. knows so little, he People. knows so little. And uh, Brian knows so little, he knows so little <laughs> about podcasting. And he's cutting me off, so oops. First I didn't want to sing, and now I'm singing. And Brian cuts me off, so oops. I said, first I didn't want to sing, now I'm I am singing, <laughs> but Brian cut me off. So, Ooh. Ooh. and Chris cut me off right there. Beef jerky or something? Oh, beef jerky. Um, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Why not? I'll do some beef jerky. Thanks. What's this? This isn't... That is lemon and lime. You know, it looks weird. It's delicious. It's actually lemon or lime? It's actually. It's real. It's, no it's aspartame. real? No aspartame? No aspartame? All right. You're all day. All righty. Thank you very much. Looks delicious. Um, nom, nom. Here's what I'm concerned about. It's a problem that we encounter. The fact that no one's listening to this and I don't care if it rhymes. This episode sucks. I don't want to sing with you two you fucking guys. But Chris, so you're singing anyway. Because you're singing what am I right going to do? What this am I going to do me? not do it? I got to be a team player. This is going to fail so miserably. But guess but what? let's know whose fault was it. It's Brian's fault. It, it was it's my Brian's fault. fault. He it was my kills fault. Ba- bits. I it's said balls. So they, start, mm-hmm. they kill mm-hmm. bits before he starts. Now that there's five listeners left, let's command them and say you're our five favorite listeners. You're my five favorite listeners. Brian, don't just repeat what Chris said. This is your dumb idea, so please come up with shit. And add please to it. sing something and add don't do it. it in the same I'm style. I'm doing to my it. best. It's the same way add we all it. sang I'm before. Trying. We're trying add to do it. this weird little bridge part. We add were all it. sort of like the add Jets and the it. Sharks going to the Rumble in West add Side Story. We're doing little kind of fucking can't believe, staccato can't things. Can't believe you mentioned Jets and Sharks Either and Brian I. didn't run with the animal. How was that? I was great, thanks. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, I think I'm all right. Uh, actually, I'll just take a... Smarties? (laughs) Smarties? That's a great Canadian treat. Um... Is this all finished? Yes, it is. Thank you. Um, I'll just take... Actually, I'll just take a club soda. Club soda? Yeah, thanks. All right, so... You see what I'm doing here? You see what I'm going for? I'm speaking to a flight attendant. I'm, I'm, I, we got the background noise of a plane. I'm, I'm enjoying a sandwich. Still, there's there's nothing I can do to make it shittier than what Brian Callen did. I can't raise the shit bar. Thank you very much. Yes. I'm all right. Thank you. You see, there's no way to make this episode worse than it already is. Chris said, don't air this. Brian texted me after we recorded it, said, don't air it. Fuck you guys. I'm airing it. Uh, and that's it. That's just that. I guess the only way to end this is to just let you hear how it ended, naturally. So, yeah, that, that's it. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, feel free to register your disgust. Hit us up on Twitter at 10MinPod, Facebook slash 10MinPod, and let Brian know. Let at Brian Callen know just how terrible this fucking episode was. And you can blame all this on him. I, I, conscious, I made a conscious decision to record on a noisy airplane. That's how... That's exactly what this episode deserves. So I would say enjoy the rest of it, but that would be a fucking lie. Listen to the rest of it and fuck it. That's it. <laughs> Clear your throat Ew. when you're singing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Clear your throat. I want. Oh, gross. Now what? Guys, keep singing. No, Brian.
Yeah. I don't want to. Hey, guys. You know what, dude? <laughs> Your stupid fucking bit. Didn't really work, did it, guys? No. You, you know what, Brian? You knew it wasn't going <laughs> to. You knew it wasn't going to work. Well. But you know what? What? We're going to air it anyway. I ran out of wit. <laughs> don't say that. I did. I, I want to be honest with you guys. I ran out of wit. I'm lazy Makes sense. today. Makes sense. TMP the musical. I'm, I've been spreading myself a little thin. What the fuck is that? I'm sorry for wasting everybody's time. No, you're not. You're not sorry. You gonna do it again? I'm not. Chris maybe is yawning. Could, maybe we could do another one. No, no, we're Rap. never, we're never doing that again. No, we're not doing that again. I'll write never. some lyrics. You wanted, he wanted to do that for so long, by the way, and we yeah. just proved to him that we, we, we trump you when it comes to ideas. You can't fucking. No, it's just because I, I are, didn't are, think are, it through. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, think, think it through. It through. No, don't, but don't bully up, bully up on me now, guys. No, we're Be not nice going to me. bully up. You know what? I'm just going to say thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast. If you like the I show, I hope you turned it off. Rate and review it on iTunes. If you if you're not hearing this, then good, because that's this is the part that you should turn. It I off. hope that nobody hears this part. Still a few seconds, Brian. <laughs> Couple more. Yeah, it's podcast time with the pals again. So, Here it is, guys. So, Here we are. So, 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 yeah. so, 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 so. What are those yeah. words? Nah, you got, got, got. Use your words, bro. Shut up, dude. I don't give a fuck about your song. You gotta fucking shut you, you, up. You, know, the you, fucking you song. record this song. So I'll, I'll let him talk. I don't care. I don't care that people get to hear it. It doesn't matter. No one's gonna hear it all the time. You defend your song. Let him go ahead. Now there's no song. You don't want to say anything? Let him exhaust himself. Hey, guys. All right. We're back. Hey, we're back. You know, it's been a while since the three of us all recorded together. You know, unbeknownst to you. To you. To, to, to you? Unbeknownst. Mm. Unbeknownst. Unbeknownst. <laughs> mm, I must be having a stroke. Um, we, we've been busy. We've been out of town. We've all been doing different things. Mostly we, me, but yeah. No, yeah. mostly well, me. me too. Well, well, mostly I've been me. doing a lot well, of music. Vegas. Uh, Vegas for one night. Vegas for one night. One night. We're I've talking been, about a bunch of different things, me. All right. But, no, I've been in Ontario for like. Right, doing weeks. one thing, but yeah, I'm like Canada. But, no, no, no. But Vegas, one night, a lot of I'm a Renaissance man. Vegas one Don't night. Say that. Vegas one night for me. Wait, Vegas Light, one night ready? or Vegas one Vegas, night. Hmm. Vegas one hmm. night for me. Lifetime average man. What? The things I do one night Vegas. <laughs> lifetime one <laughs> average man. Oh, I thought, oh okay. I thought you were having a stroke. No, 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 no. Backwards The stuff. things I do in one night. Really. Lifetime. Oh, what, 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 Brian's what spinning his finger. Oh, what are some God, of the things? Just hit. Uh, oh. Is that coming? Yeah, yeah he's, it's he's, all of it. He's oh, flexing really? his hips right. and shit. Hey, day. All right, oh, hey. Day. hey. All right, all right. Welcome. You're welcome. Welcome. You're welcome. To the no. 10 Minute Podcast. If you're going to buy something on Amazon, you go to 10minutepodcast.com. That's how you buy your Amazon stuff. You will be supporting our show. I do it. Please do that. Chris does it. Brian doesn't and know how to use 80% it. you get 80% off. No, no, that's, that's not true. Absolutely But you'll get your true. shit for the same know. price, and we'll get a kickback. It's a great way to support this show, so we keep it going. Another thing. You want t-shirts? Go to 10minutepodcast.merchtable.com. Too many you get t-shirts. Words. Haven't got- seen a word. Haven't seen dollar one. Yes, you fucking yeah, have. Yeah, you have. Dude. You I have, have. idiot. Oh, okay. You have. You've gotten checks, you fucking yeah, I guess moron. I have. Yeah. My people. T- I don't another I have thing. money people that don't touch money. All right, cool. Yeah. Here's another thing also. If you like this show, because you know that we appreciate you. What you need to do is you go to iTunes and really, you rate and review the show. This is going to help us. Subscribe to the show on iTunes. Download it through iTunes. It's the easiest thing in the all world. Right, fucking, that way, all right. hey, you I'm get it bored, on your app. Yeah. You Who get it on the app shit, on the phone. Dude. Get the, oh, get, get the they're, podcast. They're, I want to say they're, something. They're It'll just show Who up. Who cares? Thing. Could It'll just say show your name. Up. Every Tuesday and Thursday, you'll get a new show. Who gives a fuck? So subscribe. And <laughs> say your who name. Who gives a shit? And subscribe. Great. And the thing I'm enjoying most about this is... Until I say my name, you guys never say your name. So I can say all this shit <laughs> that's kind of because you guys you guys like to pretend that you're all, oh, we say whatever the fuck we want and we're fucking punk rock. But you know what? Brian and Chris, they're professionals. Look, they're just no, listening I do whatever. to me right now. No, oh not. no, he does whatever. <laughs> hey bro. Why are you smiling? <laughs> bro. All right. My name is Will, the chief engineer of laughter nah. and cheer sasso. Listen, I'm I'm Brian the Kid Callan. I want to apologize Quiet. in advance. It's and I this. am Chris. Hold on. Well, I'm Chris what? What were you going to say? Are you going to apologize for what? You're Chris the Furry Bird. No, Delia. no, no. <laughs> You're Chris the Fur Bird. No, I'm You're a Chris D'Elia, and I don't have Come a nickname. On. What you see is what you get. He's right. right? He's and let me just say one thing. Washington, D.C., September 20th. I'll see you at the Lisner Auditorium. Go to my website, chrisdelia.com, for tickets. Whoa. That's September for 20th, tickets? Washington, mm-hmm. D.C. Okay, that's good. And cool. do not go see Brian Callen. I'll be in Atlantic City and Westbury, New York, too. Go well, check it. Well, that's great. 
Now, if you're in Texas, I want to apologize, first of all, for clogging up traffic in advance, because if you're anywhere near San Antonio, I'm going to be at the Live Out Loud Comedy Club Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's this Friday. So that's traffic 12th, in what? The parking lot? Because that only holds about 280. So how am I? Are you Luke Bryan? It's, a, w- it's a way bigger Luke venue Bryan, you? than you know. Are you Luke Bryan? Are you the Zach Brown band? Did you did you sell fifty two thousand tickets? I, I don't. Yeah. I haven't like looked Luke at the Bryan numbers. Did? I, I haven't looked at the numbers yet. Last week, or? I haven't looked at the numbers okay. yet. But I know that if you hear a loud noise, that's that's are ribs you, a cracking as they're laughing. Are that's you, ribs a cracking as they're a laughing? Is that your new song? Because you're in Lady Antebellum. Because how are you yeah. going to get that many people to show up? Yeah. Have because, you joined Lady Antebellum? Because San Antonio knows. Are you in Austin? The, are, are you in, in the band? Are you in Perry? Fleetwood Mac? Guys, is yeah. that has you? Fleetwood Mac. Are Guys, you a, are you are you Journey? Are you are you Mick alone? Huh. Are you you're Christine if, McVie? If you hear yeah. ribs a cracking, it'll J? be Texas a laughing. <laughs> you, if you I like Jesse you J. Hear ribs a cracking, it'll be Texas a laughing at Brian Gallagher. You hey, laugh out loud coming to come you, September 12, 13, 14. Are you Chris this Delia? weekend? <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> what? Hey, don't say hey, you that. You know what? It's been it's been a minute since since the three of us actually got together and recorded. Like we said, you know, we've been banking a bunch of episodes. I've been stuff. boxing, but yeah, we tennis. call it corded. We call it corded. We call it cordon. And uh, over the weekend, Brian and I got together with our buddy Marshall too. Yep. Uh, BKJJ. Yep. Uh, Big Killer Junior. Big Killer Whatever Jones it is. Junior. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're all texting each other, the four of us in a thread. Uh, yep. And the three of us and a bunch of other of our friends all met up at Will Rogers uh, State Beach. And Chris, Chris was not there. But Chris we were was digging in, in the sand. I'm talking about some serious volleyball. I'm talking yeah, about some, spiking, digging, We did digging, some beach setting. volleyball. Oh, yeah. so wait, where do you guys, do Just they have a place? Water. Do we they have a water. place where they come around with buckets and collect your dicks and then put them on the, hey, man. No, what is that supposed man, to mean? Do they why? give you, or do they actually put on vagina? Like, I don't understand how it works. Like, do you. Why don't you want to go outside and go to the No, beach? no, no, it's because not that. Being outside is cool. Being outside is cool. But what I'm wondering on the volleyball side of things. Yeah. Do they do they have like a guy that comes around that's security that's like all right fellas hand over your dicks nope. and then you put they no. put them in a box no. or does a guy come out and say nope. I've got this vagina that goes over your dick no 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 or Maybe what is that it? would probably no. be easier if Bro, that were the case we but, were playing with real no. f- professional fighters we were digging. We were spiking. What do they fight? We do they fight, they fight each fight other? Heterosexuality or what yes, is it listen, that they fight? Bro, no, dude, no. Bro, in the middle of the games, we would hit that water, shark infested water. Yep. We'd go deep. <laughs> oh, we'd I go... went way deeper than you. I took my boogie board dude, out there. My we thought fins. you died. Did you Are guys you get. We literally were like, where's Will? We thought you died. You I had to go way out because it, it was flat. Does, it was flat. When you're that deep, does the salt water hurt your pussy or what? Hey, bro. Hey, dude. What's up? Hey, bro. Why don't you come out? See, here's my thing. I walked around outside today. He smolders in the sun. I walked around outside today. He doesn't wake up until 3 in the afternoon. Not true. I woke up fucking And he doesn't have the leg... Legs to even walk in sand. That's not true. He yeah. is he is a fur bird and, my, he's, and he's got stork legs. My thing is that we were trying to figure out where everyone was parking. Right, your good buddy Shab. Right, and, and my, that uh, your and pal and that mine. is where you lose me. Right. right there, there's fucking bullshit parking at the beach. No, I'd there's be... nothing but parking. There's just nothing but parking Have at you... Will Rogers on a Saturday. But we just yeah. needed to figure out to be in the same spot. And That's who all. wasn't responding? Brian. Right, and that is why I don't go. That's, That's not why. Point. That's one of the reasons. You have never been to the beach, probably. That's not you? true. When I have been to the beach, when? dude. You La- in LA. Uh, uh, last summer. And let- so a year ago. Yeah. What did you do at the That's beach? Did you, I did fucking you- hung out at the sand. Why is that insane? Why don't you, you have, come with did me? Did you have jeans on? No, uh, I, I wear. You, you know a what? Cloak? No, you know what? I wear a speedo. No, you don't. No, yeah, I do. You wear a speedo at, at your own home. And oh you've, yeah. Instagram pictures. And I'm fucking European, dude. You're not European. No, but he is I am kind of European, to, but yeah. you're not European. Well, you're Eastern European. You're I'll tell from- you what. How about the texts you guys got from me on Friday? Because I was running around. I had some voiceover work to do on Friday in Santa Monica. Then I went to Venice. And then around sundown, I went for a swim by myself. Oh, first of all, I biked around. Yeah. Not in those Vibrant it's shoes. I got like, rid of those. I biked God. around. Then I went into the ocean. Then I did yoga by myself on a towel <sighs> on the sand. And then I went back in the ocean. How long did you do and yoga on the home. sand? Just because a half hour. From, I'm going to have a tough half time hour. being friends with you. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, but now that's the line. So Chris, Chris doesn't well, want to go to the beach at all. You want to go to the beach, yeah. but you're, you're passing judgment on me for at doing least yoga? I, at, least yeah. you, at least me. And this is why I'm truly what you see is what you get. When I say something, I mean it. I'm yeah. not fucking dilly-dallying between the line like you are. You're at the fucking sand. You're at the don't do yoga, but we're on the sand. You're doing pussy shit all day long. Hey, me, it's not pussy shit. I'm screaming, I'm screaming at a coffee shop. And I don't even mean like what? vocally. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I mean like internally. Like my fucking being is just fucking, you know. 
it, are you it's, radiating? Yeah, I'm radiating. That's the word I'm. I think about. out of the three of us, I'm the most beach. So I think that's a new nickname. You're for not me. the most. Will beach the most at all. beach Sasso? One hundred percent. You're no. the least beach. Yeah, yeah. He's at, the least Chris, beach. and you're. I don't I'm know. I'm Tanner. You're somewhere in I'm between. Tanner. You're I got not, a, you're not I got Tanner a, than me. I got me. a beach bod. No, I got a I beach got a bod. Straight up beach bod. bod. I got a. I got a Samoan Hulk mesomorphic minotaur. Dude, I don't. I'm not going to talk about bodies. I'm not going to talk about anything. What I'm saying is, dude, what you see is what you get, and that's who I am. And I don't go to the fucking beach. You got to come to the beach with us. I'll, I'll be. You know, every now and then, maybe I'll go to the beach. But I went last summer. It's great. You'll panic. All right, summer. Do you do? Summer's you fall down in the sand and poop. Well, that's the other thing. It, your parents have an amazing place. Yeah, they got a really great on the beach. beach? House. It's on, on the, the sand. Beach, Brian. Did you know about this? Right, I did not know about that. Why yeah. are we not having? Like beach parties, because and volleyball, he, games. He vampiro, no. <laughs> because you're vampiro, no, it's, it's or his town. <laughs> That's one of the only two reasons: either Stalin or vampira. You're a Stalin. Stalin the vampira. Is that yeah, right? Stalin the vampira. I'm Will the most beach sasso. This is Chris the Stalin vampira uh, Delia yep. and Brian the uh, Brian. I'm I'm, I'm Brian I'm a vagina cat. vagina over dick and bucket. Don't yep, say yep, that. Yep. Well. Come All out right, to the guys. beach with us. San Antonio, guys, guys I'm coming sh- this weekend. Woo! Go to Washington, D.C. Well, instead. Fuck off. What are you doing? No. Oh, oh, come on, geez. dude. It's so fucking gross, man. It's, You're such a dick. We no, haven't even That's started. my nickname for you, Will. That's the podcast hasn't started. I know, but that's my nickname for you. Some podcasts are so <laughs> my nickname. And you don't know how long <laughs> it lasts. That's why you listen to <laughs> 10 Minute Podcast. Sorry. Oh my god. Sorry. You're not sorry. No, I am. I'm Stop saying you're sorry bad every time it. you do this. September 20th, I'm going to be in Washington, D.C. All right, D. dude. All right, well, I'll be website, in San Antonio. I'll be in San Antonio September 12th, 13th, and 14th. Look, it's that's, that's this too, weekend. In Westbury, New York. Yeah. All right, Shut look, up. Laugh out loud comedy. Shut you up. You can't start a podcast for <laughs> The Why not? Yeah, dude. I, I'm sorry. No, I you're not sorry. You're not sorry. You stood up and turned around. All right, here's what I want to say. Whoops, whoops, whoops. But Chris, back me up on this. Is my nickname... For Will, when he's not around, what do I say? I go, "Hey, uh, did you have you talked to?" Yeah, that's yeah. It's longer than Will. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, he does that. That's all my time. nickname. Don't, don't call he'll, me he'll, that. He'll but that's my nickname it. for you. I don't like that. Nickname. He'll text it too. He'll be like, "Where's F F F F F?" Just a bunch of F's. That's very disrespectful. All right, here's what I'd like to do before we even get into the show. I wanna I wanna create a little internet buzz right here, right now. Someone put this together and we tweeted it from at Ten Min Pod on Twitter. Slash him and put on Facebook. Does anybody still use Facebook? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This guy knows what I'm talking about. Uh, some guy cut together all the farts, Brian's farts. So I would like to make a call uh, right now to everyone across the internet. I don't care if you use SoundCloud. I don't care if you use YouTube. Someone go to 10minutepodcast.com. Put fart in the search um, uh, bar there. You should be able to get all the fart one. No, Brian, what are you Come doing? Come on, man. To- oh, gross. All right. <laughs> so t- small. Just go. Keep going. Anyway. Someone find all of Brian's farts and put it together Dude. in one thing, and we will tweet the shit out of Can it. Can I just say Pardon something right pun. now? Yeah. It's, it's fall coming up, right? Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. You buy some on Amazon. Nah, Amazon. don't say that. Part, well, just say your name. Nobody does that. Say your name. Nobody does that. Say your name. Rate and review us on iTunes. My name is uh, Will the Gladiator Helmet Face Sasson. All right, great. I'm Brian the Kid Kellen. No, I'm Chris Leah. And you know what? You're These fucking, and I don't have a nickname because what you see is what you get, okay? <laughs> now look, dude. you got to stop doing... I, 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 well, no. what, I gotta, what I got to say... What I, what I got to say is... announce a non What I got to say, what I, I got to say is... Yeah. Uh, fall's coming up. And you know... Fall is here. You know yeah. what that means. Yeah. Fall's coming up to Chris because you know what that Chris means. hasn't gone outside to realize no. that it's already fall. No. But, but girls get happy No, 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 no. Fall's coming up and that only means one thing. What's that? Girls get annoying talking about fall that's right and actually if you speaking of going to 10 minute podcast.com listen to our old episode girls love fall so much right where chris details how much he hates it that women love fall yeah i don't know why you're so upset about this because of obviously and everybody should be so obviously <laughs> the upset. same reason he gets mad and i get mad when girls tell me about their dreams it's just a general comment yeah. well, about something that's going to have no right. effect on anything. That's a I harsh had an amazing general, dream. That's, an, that's a harsh generalization. But it's true. Although, I had an amazing dream. You'll never guess what almost happened. Nothing. Yep. And, and, and fall is my favorite because yeah. don't care at all oh, because well. you're expressing an emotion that has no effect on anything. Yeah. It's a little bit like the way Will tells a story. No. He'll tell a story and go no. off on details like the windowsill no. and the kind of socks <laughs> the person was wearing. Why would and, I and, say that? Oh, no. don't care. No. <laughs> Ending always no. with 
and nothing happened. I have to corral and herd you guys into a fucking meaningful conversation that happens in 10 fucking minutes. How could I possibly go off on a story that makes no sense? I'm Listen. gay. Chris! Oh, I, gay. Don't oh, I don't no, know. I don't know. No, I'm happened? kidding. All right, look, look, I'm what joking. What happened? But, oh, jo- oh, I'm joking. Took you seriously. But, no, I would have really bought it. It would funny if that's oh, how I came out. That would have been pretty look, cool. Um, pumpkin spice. Women love pumpkin spice it, Lattes. And I blame Starbucks and I blame the coffee companies that yep. put this shit out there and just feed it into Because girls love to curl their fucking uh, sleeves up. It's to the, cute as to, shit. It is cute. I it's love it. It's very cute. They like to put both they wrists together sometimes. and put they them up mittens. on the – they actually never do that. Okay. But they put the fucking okay. sleeves yep. up to the mid mid of the palm yep. and then they fucking go, ooh, and they put their hair up <laughs> and they put their Chris fucking – They put together. their little fucking t- collar up and He's ooh. He's making a little tie thing. And, and they walk going. around and they eat yep. some stuff and when they're eating the thing. Things, they fucking put it in your face like ooh. That's not fall, but okay. It's little, not fall. Do you think but you're being a little condescending. No, you not just at all. said that all girls say, "I have a, I had a dream." Yeah, and you said that all females yeah. say that. Well, yeah. I didn't mean like so that's, a baby that's a version, general like and the baby version of thing to say. Martin Luther King Jr. But look, hey, what weird. I do is weird. What I I have a dream. Oh, okay. I have a, that's so it's not, cute. It's not yeah. how girls talk. Well, that's what you were saying. That is what anyway. You were saying. Anyway, I, fuck you know, this pumpkin li- spice bullshit. Fuck this false right. shit. Yeah. All right. So much, and here's the deal, man. Uh, it's not even necessary. Guess what? It's what? I, I've I've come to a realization since we had this fucking podcast last year. Yeah, that I would right. say it kind of went a little bit viral. That fucking whole thing. Okay, when yeah. we were starting talking about yeah. how girls. Well, like it was because so it started with a tweet. Do you remember? Right. This? Yes. You said, that tweet went crazy. Yeah. Chris tweeted. Uh, why do girls say that they love fall so much? Yeah, and, and it got it, like so many retweets. Got a lot of retweets. Because everybody, it resonated because it's fucking true. But here's the thing, true. and dare I say it, um, gir- girls girls just like seasons. Yeah. Whenever they, winter comes up, oh, I can't wait till winter. You're and not And then when wrong. summer comes up, yay, summer. Right. The only one that they really don't give a fuck about is spring. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this. Because that's, we- that's when they get pregnant. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, everyone, get, everyone uh, fuck in spring. <laughs> But yeah, dude, nothing but December. I don't babies. look. Why can't you? Why can't you like fall and not talk about it? Well, because people talk about things. That's no, how they but people talk about a lot of things. Yeah, but girls talk about how they love fall. Well, listen, if this too is too much, if, if this is <laughs> if this is part two of Chris detailing that girls love fall so much. In the last one, I remember that we said that summer favors fucking and fall favors cuddling. Right. I.e. all the stuff you've just laid out with the yeah. clothes and stuff. I'm, summer, of course, women are wearing less clothes. Yeah. So things get a little more horned up. Or at least yeah. if you're a guy. At you're least looking, in the grass. Right. But you I would like to. You more in the grass in the summer than you do in the fall. Chris, Brian does a lot of fucking outside. I just, I'm so, it's so, I'm just a weirdo. I don't know. I love fall. No, you're not I'm, a weirdo. You know, you're I, not a weirdo. I love fall. I, I am such a nerd. I love fall. I love just reading a book on the yeah. couch. I but I'll tell you like, what. I'm into science. I'd I'm like to go the other way with it and 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 start saying that guys, fall can also favor fucking. And here's how: it's like your pre-Christmas gift. You know, Chris is saying the girls have their their sleeves up to their mid palm and they've got a cute scarf and stuff. That's just more fun. That's like a lot of fucking fun foreplay. Right. Just taking peeling yeah. all that stuff off. Right. I'm a little old fashioned. Sure. If I got to take like a like a like a pea coat off a chick, yeah. you know, and like a nice scarf, I'll yeah. pop and then she's got like I'll a yeah, she's got shirts, I'll pop a button, she's got right sweaters. Off. That's wait. just I'm gonna get so hard. I'm not waiting. Mm. Oh, hey, 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 I like to Where? ruin fall for hey. girls by when I'm having sex with them in summer. I'm having sex with them in summer, and then when we're doing it, I whisper in their ear. We won't be together by fall. <laughs> Chris. Yeah. Chris. Yeah. Christopher. Yep. Christopher. Yep. That's what I do. And then when fall rolls around, they're sad. No, no, no. no. Christopher. I'd like to say that if you're if you're a gal and you know you're trying to get you're trying to get your guy uh, you know uh, hot and that sort of thing, but it's fall, so you want to favor the cuddling, right? That's cool. But just wear like two pairs of pants, three sweaters, well, two shirts, a big coat, well, a scarf, earmuffs? mittens, hey, earmuffs. Man. Yep, uh, moccasins, uh, no, no, no. Uh, leg warmers. Poncho? No, I'm saying. Is there, you a position, this off. is there a position that favors her, fall? Her body's so warm. Is there a f- position you think that favors fall? A position over... or a foot position? <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> mm, mm. hey, man. <laughs> Hey man, you know what I mean. Is there a f- position? Well, f- position. Whoops. A f- position is yeah. a fuck position. Oh. So I'm oh, just abbreviating. Oh, okay. okay. Is a there f- a f- position, nice position that favors? See, I figure in the summer, in the summer you're gonna you're gonna be hitting behind from behind. Yeah. You're gonna be hitting from behind. Yeah. You know that. Girl yeah. wants. So you can watch the sweat come from your forehead, drip down your nose, form a little pool. All right. A little small pool, of her the back. small of her back. Yeah. Right. Now I'm gonna say that that fall favors. 
Side fucking. Yeah, spoon fucking. I was just going to say. Side fucking. Why? Because yeah. they got cocoa. They got cocoa in the front of them they on the other side. They got cocoa in front of them on the other side. And you're behind them fucking them and they're trying to drink their cocoa with the marshmallows. Oops, you're interrupting me. They're on their side drinking cocoa with marshmallows. And you're on. Oops. Let them finish. Interrupting me. They're on their side drinking cocoa with marshmallows. And you're behind them and. Don't do it again. There's not a lot of time left. They're on their side trying to drink fucking mar- <laughs> and oops. Because now we had one final point to make about Chris was going to probably say that they have a pumpkin spice latte. Yes, and you're trying to fuck them up from behind and they're trying to not spill it while you're fucking them. And while you're trying to do what dudes do, they're oops. trying to do what chicks do, okay? You're trying to do what, do what dudes do and fuck them from behind. I'm trying to get and enough. Oops! <laughs> and you're about to come and then what they're trying to do is they're trying to not be bothered while they're drinking their, their pumpkin spice latte. It's burning their lips a little bit too. Yeah, and face if you, say, if, if you, because you fuck too hard. And you hear this. Yeah. yeah. All right, dude. Yeah. A fall, fall. Yeah, I will, fall. I will say if a gal can drink a pumpkin spice latte while you have sex with her, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Brian, well, can. you, she you, can, well, Brian. you, well, what's your that, tiny Brian? nub in there. Yeah, my tiny nub, yeah. everybody. <laughs> you're like this. Yeah. Like this. Oh, oh, Brian. Am I earning? Be careful. I'm yeah, sensitive. Yeah, yeah. My tiny, you want to see my cock? No. Oh, 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 look, at look at that. Hold on to your hats and put the women and children to bed. It's time for the 10 minute, right? Something weird. No, not that. Very generic. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's not bad. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10 minutes of fucking bitch. Hang on to your seat. We'll sell you the seat, the whole seat, but you'll only need the air. It's not good if you stutter. And you can yeah. get the seat at Amazon.com through 10-Minute Podcast. There you go, Brian. You're learning about podcasts. Yeah. Hey, wouldn't that be cool if the podcast was completely different than it is and nah. we said all sorts of weird stuff? Nah. Yeah. Hey, um, hey, um Jinx. It's, um, it's cool, Brian. Uh, go to 10MinutePodcast.com, go to <laughs> Amazon. Uh, rate and review us on uh, iTunes and please download and subscribe there. That's the best way to get our podcast. Yeah. We'll keep this fucking going literally forever oh. um, because they've been recorded and they're just going to keep playing forever. The people love us. Yeah. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callen. And I'm Chris D'Elia and I don't have a nickname because what you see is what you get. You know, I'm going to stop. Actually, I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to stop him. That's I'm not what you see is what you get actually because Will, uh, Chris did something that I have. I want. I take umbrage to and I have a problem with. What's he this? posted a picture of his fucking car yeah. his new car and he yeah. said I, I like this more than people yeah. and so, I just want to say that that's people. a value system I don't support why and I think you're being can a I bad a example question? to the children can I ask you a question why because it's idolatry it's 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 adultery I don't think it's it idolatry. Is. idolatry like you're cheating you're, on your you're wife. worshiping idol. false gods uh, my car's and not a god you said that you're gonna go to hell you did say that on top <laughs> of the fact that you wear your hair obnoxiously long and you have sunglasses Probably from Tom Ford. I couldn't. I didn't. I think he was being a bit ironic by saying, "I love my car more than people." I don't. He's even wording it goofy. (laughs) I don't like his car. It's five hundred and fifty-three horsepower. It gets a block a gallon. No. And (laughs) Chris got a new car. He zips around. Let me ask you a question, Brian. Zippy zip. If you could, if you could, call you zip. Don't call me zip. Let me ask you something. If you could replace Chris with anybody, who would it be? For the podcast. For the podcast, not in like life. Seal the singer. Seal. You'd have Seal. Yeah, because I think we could use somebody who's got a good voice and who has an English accent. You already have, you already, and we you could already have that. You already have well, that. Small cockney. No, no like this that. is fucking no, straight up. Straight. Up. Let me just say, accent. this is straight up British. No, it's it's it's, it's awfully country, actually. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not how he talks at all. Um, so um, no, no Seal so right. talks like this. Hey, oh, and Jason Statham's here, Brian. Yeah, that's right. There it is. There I am. I would replace you. No, I wouldn't Jason replace Stray- you. Stratham. Stratham. Every time you try to say Jason Statham, yeah. you say Stratham. Yeah. What? So let me know. I got it. Me... <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. That I... you say Stratham Cause, cause... when it's not. You know no, what no, you no, should. No, because Jason straths them with his comedy and his acting. His bullets. comedy. He doesn't do comedy. How about we He's call? You should call him Jace, Jace Hmm Statham because you always say Stratham, mm-hmm. which is Hmm. hmm. Um, hmm. You would replace Chris with Seal if you had had your druthers. Who would you replace or me with? Or just a right or a real Seal? Who would... it wouldn't make a difference? 
<laughs> because honestly, when I hear him talk, and I'm seal not trying to be a dick. Seal or real seal. All right. I'm not trying to be a dick. But it, it, what Chris, the, if you look at the substance and content. We know where this is going. Yeah, we already said it. Said it. Said now, who would you replace oh, me oh, with? Oh, it's the same thing. Who would you replace me with? Uh, like a candle. <laughs> so uh, let me get this straight. A fucking live seal. And a wax candle. Yeah, because I'm, the, lit- I'm the backbone of the show. It wouldn't no, you're matter. not. No, you're not. I carry the show if I have to. No, you, but that would be one all of right. the other seven right, podcasts right, you already this, have. About this. Let's do the fucking podcast. You be a candle, meaning okay. you don't say anything, okay. and I'll be a seal. No. Okay. And he'll it. fucking do what he does start and carry it, it on. It and we'll no. see if it's a good podcast. Right. Go ahead. And no, go. I won't. I'm not going to do that. Oh. So, how you doing, Chris? What's going on? Oh, oh, oh. Are you when you're when you're flopping around and then you're swimming in the ocean? Are you afraid of great whites? Or what's it feel like? To or be, or what's it like to feel or, like be a be a be a dog with no legs and be shark or, food? Good. Okay, so that's a bad podcast. That's a pretty bad podcast. Yeah, yeah. and you don't carry good. yeah for fucking two seconds. Mm. And and guess what? The you can't just ask the seal some shit because he won't respond when he's supposed to, which is what I was doing. I was not responding when I was supposed to, and responding when I wasn't supposed to. That's pretty okay? good seal. That's a pretty good seal. I would. How about? Um, well, by the way, great job as a candle. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I would replace Brian with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Uh, and I would replace Brian. Him. Basically, is a dumb Neil deGrasse. That's person. kind of what I was going for. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Guys. It's like so sort good, of like, good, good, good replacement. Right. He would no. sort of come at it with like logic and stuff. I'd call it uh, uh, science and gaffs mm-hmm. with Will and Neil. And then I would replace you, Chris, mm-hmm. with just a rotating chair of all sorts of fun people. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. All the people I want to have on a podcast, like well, wrestlers, right? And <laughs> mine would be fixed. Different. No. What? Who would no. you who would you replace me with? I would replace you, He's Will, to me, yeah, Will, with Keanu Reeves, Keanu and Reeves you, weird. Brian, with Rick Springfield. That's why would you replace me with, with Rick Springfield? That's because we kind of all look like versions of each other. Please, if you're listening, okay. Here's what I, here's here's our call to arms. Here's what I would really like for you to do if you're listening and you're into Photoshop and you follow us on Twitter at Ten Min Pod or Facebook slash Ten Min Pod. Please go to our website Ten Minute Podcast dot com. Take our home banner. Uh, do the do the Brian Callum version. Replace me with a candle. <laughs> replace Chris with either seal, a seal or a or, seal. Yeah, yeah. Do my or version where Brian is replaced with Neil deGrasse Tyson and Chris is replaced with a rotating seat of guests. You can have a bunch of people where Chris is, or you can have one wrestler. Okay, a wrestler of your choice, and also do it Chris's version. Replace me with Keanu Reeves and Brian with Rick Springfield. Yeah. We would love to see that. We'll tweet it. Yeah. There you go. Now what? And mine would be the best. Why would yours be the best? Because first of all, it would drive so much traffic to our podcast. It, because both Rick Springfield and Ken Reeves are so much more famous than both of you. Listen, I, I'm not going to argue they, that. They, they, you, you're choosing them based on the fact they kind of look me. like you, not, and nobody's yeah, they kind of look like nobody's you. looking at the podcast. There's they're 80s you listening. There's 80s you, <laughs> yeah, 90s you, and then 90s <laughs> you, and then you. Yeah, that's what that is. That's what you subconsciously did without. No, knowing. I meant to. Rick I, that's Springfield why I is like. 80s, yeah. And by the way, replace Rick Springfield, of course, and obviously with the guy you really look like, Lorenzo Lamas. No, that's... You look a lot like... You look like a less also, athletic... Also, don't say Less it. athletic... Don't say Paler, like pointier... Also, don't say it. Lorenzo Lamas. No, okay, see... That's how he say his name. No, it's Lorenzo. not. Lorenzo. No, 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 no. Don't well, say no, Lorenzo. Well, because I speak Spanish. So. I would like to replace... Actually, I'd like to amend mine. I would like to replace you with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Mm. I'm on board um, with that. Um, actually, uh, I want to replace you with Neil... Neil the Grass. Tyson. Now what? you can Photoshop that with like make Neil deGrasse Tyson have grass <laughs> for hair, too much, I think. or he can be smoking a joint, right? And then Chris with uh, uh, wrestling your demons. What instead of a wrestler? This is terrible. Yeah, so yeah. You can have like bottles of booze or pills or how drugs. About, how about Chris is just a pasta. How about Chris is just shit with eyes. Mm. You the emoji. Shit with That's eyes. the emoji. Yeah. That's already the emoji. So you so. be you be shit with eyes. No, man. And then cr- just make You're will. Giving people too many options. Make I stick will with will a cloud of, uh, of shit gas of a cloud a big fart. Dude, I straight up am not changing mine. It would be great to have Ken Reeves and Rick Springfield on my podcast. It would be the ten minute podcast, and it would be us. And it'll be fucking awesome. Rick Springfield would sing sometimes. Oh, Reed I would had do Jesse's girl. Cool he did no, every podcast no, with. Oh, we should I had Jesse's girl. Do not, do not. 
No. Actually, all right. Yeah, I'm going back to Neil deGrasse Tyson all right, dude, and then just you know, a bunch of wrestlers. I, I, what you see is what you get. So when I said what I said, I meant it. Yeah. What you see is what you get, Chris. What else is going on? Hey, Chris, what's your favorite part of your face? I'm, or- you know, I'm actually glad you asked that. Um, when I look at my face, which yeah. isn't that much because mm-hmm. I try to keep it, I try to stay down to earth. Um, I notice something that's weird. It all kind of just works. You know, I know. Like so, I don't just, I don't. It's not my nose. It's not my eyes. It's not my mouth. It's just it all kind of works. Okay. So Guys, if, I, if, I'm I sh- if I were to shave your head, it would all go away. Hey, before but if I were to shave your head and everything. It hey, before you away. finish, before you finish that thought, I'm just, I'm gonna check out for the rest of this one. I'll come. What do you like about yourself? I, 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 well, no, he's out. So let me just tell you something about my face. The funny thing about my face is, it just works. You know, and if you're just gonna be like a girl and you're interested in me, you just gotta notice one thing. I'm open the window early. On hey, Bry, Bry. It just well, works. Right, right. It just works. And so if you're going to be next to me and hanging out with me and you notice my nose, you notice my eyes, you notice my mouth, my, my pussy lips, it just, it just works. So all together, just, don't, don't all do together, that. Did you just, say pussy lips? No, I said plush lips. You said pussy lips. No, no, no. It just works. All right. Well, what, check, what, check it out. well what do you, well, what do you like here. the most? I open the window. I'm over here by the window. Okay, ni- cool. Well, you got nice blue eyes. I got a gladiator helmet face. You got no. nice blue eyes. Don't, don't I have, yeah, stretch I have ice the Ice blue eyes, aqua yeah. blue eyes. And you and got a, you got a proud. But head. honestly, my stuff, proud my head. stuff. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta enunciate. I'm you back. Gotta, I'm back. Just to no, say, my please stuff, enunciate. My stuff. It. 